You guys hopefully you guys are doing good happy monday hopefully you had a good weekend how are you doing shin how are you how's your weekend been um 
as y'all probably can tell, today's stream is presented by EA's Creator Network because I have a code for the Blooming Kit, and I've been very excited about it. Um, I was actually supposed to originally do the stream last week on Monday, but as y'all know, I wasn't feeling very good, so um, that got pushed to the back burner, so I didn't do the stream last week. So here we are this week, and we're going to play around with the Blooming Kit because y'all know I love me some plants. Love me some flowers inside of Sims 4. So I'm a little excited about it. Jakara, hey! How are you doing? Also, I'm all just making my way towards this job. Ooh, I hope that you have a good day at work, though, Shen. Um, hopefully, the job doesn't stress you out too much. Um, and yeah, thanks for popping in, though, um, while you could. It's always good to see you. Pretty sure we're gonna be doing possibly mainly building today. I have an idea of what I want to do. Kind of want to make like a flower shop in um, Sims 4 today. Um, that's kind of the vibe I'm going with. Um, main reason why, of course, you guys can't see the game right now is because I have to turn it on. And y'all know Sims, y'all know Origin with Streamlabs. It doesn't work, so <laughs> I have to turn on my whole display, and I don't need y'all watching myself talk to you like inception through the window so um i'm gonna do my beginning announcements and then we will you know swap on over to the game but as i said i do have some announcements today um one first announcement will be our stream schedule should not be affected this week by the holiday um since it is thanksgiving I know every, there's different names for it at the moment. I My mind forgets what it also is going by, but I do celebrate Thanksgiving mainly because it's like impossible for me not to because my family does. <laughs> but um, So I will be going to my grandma's on Thursday, but I don't stream on Thursday. So unless like it's gonna take me more time to cook, to bake the cake on Wednesday maybe, but I should be fine because we're not having dinner at my house, so I shouldn't need to like help my mom with like any food. I'm just gonna be baking a cake and calling a night. So <laughs> stream should not be uh, messed up. But one thing to know is it is the last full week of November, which means it is community game night this Saturday and it is community movie night on Sunday. So, if you guys still have suggestions for movies and things like that that you'd want to see during Community Movie Night, or the people who are in Discord, um, feel free to put it in the suggestions area in the Discord and whatnot, because, yeah, that's a thing. Also, welcome in, Serial. How are you doing? How was Twilight Princess? Because I was lurking for a long time, but then I, I ended up having to leave and, like, go to the post office, so... How did it, the rest of it go? I was messing around with stream overlays earlier, but stopped because I didn't know how to do it the way I wanted to. But currently procrastinating doing that homework and finals is next week. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot finals is, is approaching for you guys. I hope that finals goes well um, for you, Jakara. Also, hello T. Thank you for the hydrate and for the sketch as always. It went great. I finished the Sky Temple, and I'm finally at the last part of the game. Nice! That's good. Only downhill from here. <laughs> at least I think it's the last part. Hopefully it's the last part. Um, I used to have Twilight Princess. Never finished it, because I was still back when I was scared to die in games. So, um, didn't finish that. My sister also didn't, because I used to watch her play. Um, so I don't think she finished it. She really liked it though, but I don't think she got a chance to finish it. She has my Wii now, so that's another reason why I haven't played it um, since then. Oh wait, I have my sketchbook here. But yeah, so that's gonna be this week. So I am going to post the poll tomorrow because I forgot to do it today. Um, I'll post the poll on Twitter and on Discord for the games this week, for the games this week. Um, probably still have some of the regular ones but i gotta remember which ones but you guys will see it tomorrow um and then same for the movies 
Um, Shang-Chi, of course, will be on the list because it's great. <laughs> I want y'all to see it. So we'll see what wins. Um, I'm thinking, though, that maybe for, like, December, maybe we'll... Depending on how I... How busy I am. I would love to do, like, a Christmas movie every week. Because that's the spirit I'm in right now. I want joy. <laughs> so if I can find some joy... Um, that's what I would like to do <laughs> with you guys. Let me look up Spike real quick. No, not Spike Spiegel. I know, I know. I love Cabo Bebop, um, Google, but like, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, <laughs> come on. Oh. So, like, why is it that Spike looks like a kid, but then also he looks like a himbo? Like, why, like which one is the true Spike? I don't know which Spike is true. I'm going to assume the kid one, the little pony one, is the right one. I'm going to assume. Oh, is it out already? I have to watch it. I don't mind also, by the way, because it was also a suggestion by Chin in Discord. I 100% do not mind streaming that for us in the Discord. Um, just throwing that out there. I don't mind it. I just have to find a time that's good for me and for you guys as well. Because I'm definitely going to watch it. So. <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen. Um, hey, alumni. How are you doing? Or was it, did you want me to call you alumni or true? I forget which one. But how are you doing? How was your weekend? How's your Monday going? I'm doing pretty okay. I've been obsessed with Animal Crossing suddenly. Um, but I've also under I finally figured out why I um, am so bad at Animal, Animal Crossing. Wait, did you see the live action Cowboy Bebop? Did you see how did I do? I did not see it, so please do not put any spoilers in the chat. Like, even if though I've seen obviously the anime, I still want to experience the changes they've done for myself so please no spoilers in the chat for cowboy bebop because i have to watch it um i gotta see it just just throwing that out there real quick before everybody gets started um you very likely kid dragon is the one okay cool oh guys anyone into makeup i have to almost solve some glitter makeup what are you drawing glitter makeup or are you trying to do it's hard to spoil it follows anime pretty well much no i know that's why i'm saying i've seen it but like i don't want to be spoiled by like what things they've changed or what things they didn't things like that i just want to experience it for the first time for um my own you can call me true and i'm good weekend was fun i finally started streaming so i gotta get all my overlays and stuff oh nice Nice, nice. Okay, let me actually get started on this too. But yeah, I've been obsessed with um, <laughs> Animal Crossing the last like few days. And I think, oh lord, what pose am I going to freaking do? I guess I'll try this one. All of his freaking poses seem like they're going to stress me out. But um, I figured out why. I also have to do overlays as well, true, by the way. But I figured out why I'm so bad at Animal Crossing, and it's because I am just not very good when it comes to games that make you have to log in every day. Like, once you try to tell me that I have to log in daily, I'm not going to probably be very good because I'm the, the person who enjoy I will play a game and have tons of motivation at one point in time. And then... I want to binge it for like a few days probably and be able to make lots of progress and then I leave it for a while <laughs> until I'm ready to come back again and obviously I don't have a freaking eraser obviously that doesn't work with Animal Crossing because I might make tons and tons of money I like did a whole little tiny rant on um what was it Twitter earlier like at two o'clock in the morning when i was playing it because 
I want to make like tons of progress, but I can't because like I have to wait until the next day for all things to happen. Like if I build a bridge, I got to wait until the next freaking day before I can see the bridge built. If like I put down a plot of land for somebody to like buy, they can't buy it until the next day. And then I still have to wait another full day to see which freaking villager decides to come into my my island like it's just too much and I gotta you know also wait for things to like respawn and stuff like it's just too much or I have to wait for certain days so I can like have certain certain vendors and stuff I'm good with like now I know why I like Stardew Valley because even if like let's say I can binge that thing for a bit but I can still play through an entire season. Like, I can play through all of fall if I really want to, and then decide to not play for three months. My villagers aren't gonna know. My townies don't care if I disappear for three years and come back, they don't know. But if I start doing, like, Animal Crossing, I could play for four days straight. I'm on my sixth day, I'm very proud of myself. I'm on my sixth freaking day. But nobody cares, because then if I say, man, I guess I missed a day and then I miss a three months they're all mad at me <laughs> nobody cares that I did all this stuff for them and I I like brought all these people everybody just knows that I left and now I got roaches <laughs> you know just stressful <laughs> so that's why I think I've been so bad at um Animal Crossing, because I'm just not good at games that make you have to log in daily. Same goes for MMOs, low-key. Like, even though I freaking love them, like, I'm bad when it comes to, like, getting those daily rewards and whatnot, because, yeah, I might, like, come on every day for, like, a week, but then I'm gonna forget. Like, something's going to knock me off of my grind, and then because I got knocked off of my grind, I'm like, well, guess it just won't come on today. I'm like, I already messed up. I might as well keep messing up. Don't worry, I'm gonna look at the chat in a minute. I'm trying to finish this thing before <laughs> the time is up. Since, um, T got the reward, they did the channel points for the sketch. So I'm doing the sketch right now. One day I will be able to have a, have two cameras. Not now, but one day. One day we will, we will level up same thing with one day I will actually have an ergodynamic setup where I don't have to have this thing on my freaking wrist. Because <laughs> I think I got like one minute because I like I didn't start at like 25 and I started at like 27. So I'm almost almost time to stop. Got like what one more minute I think. I mean, she, he looks like nightmare fuel, but he's actually almost done. <laughs> he's, he's almost there. He, he, he might be something that you don't want to see, but we're getting somewhere. <laughs> he's still... <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna just draw in the wing real quick. Ugly wing. Okay, time to show you. And then I'm gonna look at the stuff. But here he here he goes. <laughs> there's there's Spike. I hope you enjoy T. Hope hope he's everything you've ever wanted and more. Um, but now let me scroll up and see what I've missed. Because I know I missed some stuff. Um yeah, I'm drawing glitter makeup for my vampires. Nice! The only thing I'll say is that I thought the actor playing Jack Jet Black is fine as hell. Listen. Jet was my husband in anime. So when I saw that they had Jet 1 as black man, I was like, that's what I imagined anyway. So we're set. It is canon. That is what it is. That's what's going on. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. That's all that needs to be known. I'm logging in daily is the reason I could never get into The Sims free time. What do you mean? I have to wait an actual hour for myself to get off work? Literally, anytime there's a game that's like that, 
where same thing that's one of my problems with like most mobile games too because you know they want you to spend money so that you don't have to wait all that time and that doesn't work for me because then that means i have to wait an actual hour i have to wait an actual hour for this thing to go like it's okay if like there's like this one mobile game actually that i'm playing that that i play sometimes and i don't mind it as much because despite the fact that like they do have certain things i can take like time to do but they have it where it still makes sense because yeah you could send this person off to go get research sources for 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 15 or an hour or whatever it is but you're still doing other things so it's almost like you could say oh i'll do that for 15 minutes because i'm gonna just keep running the shop while they're doing that so it doesn't bother you as much but like i don't like when like all of the gameplay stops because you gotta wait in real time i don't want to wait in real time i want to speed it up chop chop like i don't need all that i understand that's me as well only game i was on daily was docking i never knew animal crossing was that time consuming yeah it can be it definitely is because like the thing is like it's fun because you can you can just keep doing the resource stuff like you can do that forever but the like real progression you need to make you gotta wait the next day for things to happen so like yeah you could keep fishing you can still coll keep collecting shells you you could still you can cut down your trees but you only have the amount of trees that's on your island and then you can start to go off to other islands to find them but then you need miles to do that which you usually have if you're signing in every day but like you can keep doing things and keep making money if you want but like if you like i said if you build a bridge you gotta wait until the next day to build it like even if you pay for it like right away you gotta wait for it to be built so you gotta wait till the next day if you sell a plot of land so people can move into it you gotta wait till the next day for it to be sold and then the next day for the person to move in and then the next day for them to actually have fully moved in and be walking around your island like so there's all these things you gotta wait each day for and that stuff just bothers me like i just want to be able to like have her go to sleep after maybe like a few real hours like stardew valley and then call, call it a night that's why you can binge like sims and like stardew valley and stuff because it just keeps going <laughs> and then you lose track of time and those are the best um <laughs> hey gator how are you doing welcome in welcome in oh and also i almost forgot because you did say that you were stream you're going back to streaming i will give you a shouty there you go oh you're playing halo nice i remember looking at some people playing halo and it brought me back to my childhood of watching my brother play halo um dropped glitter makeup on discord Ooh, let me check that out and then don't worry we are gonna get into sims i promise we're gonna get into it i had to do the the picture we'll catch up with the chat and then we're gonna start up this sims game let me just see this picture it looks good I will give you one critique though, um, T. You could do with it what you will if you want to listen to it. Personally to me, I think the girl, girl with the blue hair is perfect. I think that her glitter looks fine, but um, I think even what I'm about to say could help a little bit maybe with her. I feel like the, the blonde girl who has the pink glitter, maybe if you could like, I don't know, lessen the opacity, make it slightly more transparent put a mask over it something to make it look like it's actually like on her face and not like it's just kind of like I know technically with makeup you put it on top but like I feel almost like the glitter feels like it's almost on top of the picture itself almost if you know like it doesn't seem like it mesh it's meshing that it's just makeup on her face if that makes sense so I feel like if you can make it more not necessarily uniform but just make it look like it's actually on her skin with the glitter like maybe dim it slightly especially since she's behind the girl with the blue so like yeah she'll have shine but there might not be as much shine necessarily like on maybe like this part and stuff so if you could maybe do a little bit more with the shadows maybe that'll help besides that though looks fantastic that's really my only critique 
that I have for you with the glitter. Because the girl with the blue looks fantastic. I love her glitter. I think it looks perfect. Like, the, the, the purple and the blue glitter is great. And she's in the light anyway, so it, it works. Um, it's just the, the pink glitter that I see that. But it looks good. No problem, T. No problem. You know I'm going to give you critiques whenever you ask me for it. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. That's not Nightmare Fuel good. As long as it's not. I play Clash Royale and they definitely want that money. Listen, all of these... All of these mobile apps, they want that. No problem, Drew. Sin, how are you doing? Welcome in. Let's cause havoc in the Sims gamers. That's exactly what we're gonna about what we're about to do. I'm starting it up now. Behind the scenes. And then we'll be able to get in there. Cause um as I said earlier when we started the stream, we this is presented by EA's Creator Network because they were kind enough to give me a code for the blooming kit. So thank you to them for that. Um so we're gonna do that also couldn't help myself but but cottage living was 44 percent off so i also picked that up today <laughs> was not planning to get that especially because i just spent money on christmas gifts so girl a little broke but cottage living i have it now and it's great well i haven't played it but like i'm i'm ready to play it <laughs> i'm good how are you looking vibrant thank you i'm doing pretty good um, I was telling everybody earlier that I've been pretty much just obsessed with Animal Crossing. Yesterday was a pretty good day because it was just a nice, chill day. I just sat in my little onesie on my bed under my covers playing Animal Crossing for most of the day. Took a little nap, played more Animal Crossing, ate some food. And that was really like, that was my day. And it was great. Because Saturday I went out, so was out like almost all day. So Sunday was, was very needed. All right, that is set. Get the other screen set too while I'm at it. Can't remember what side of the screen it's supposed to be on. Cause I'm, I know what I'm doing. I'm a pro streamer. Um, I think it's on the right side actually. I think I should be fine with my thing on that side. All right, so we're just gonna switch straight to live view actually. Like what's the point of going into the game one? All right. Oh, and let me turn off. Oh, my music should be fine, I think, because this will change soon anyway. It's not gonna stay on. I'm gonna lessen the music because I did, I think, play some without you guys, so I turned the music back on <laughs> while I was playing because I personally do like listening to The Sims music, but I unfortunately can't be while I'm streaming because, you know, turn that thing down. Turn down my master volume. Well, actually, I can, I can keep my master up so I can at least still hear her, her voice, you know? feel like I missed something. feel like I missed somebody. But yeah, that's how I'm doing. And this new Halo takes me back to the good old days. I believe it. It really looks like that. Like, honestly. It looks like it would do that. Because I was looking at it. In all honesty, I was saying to myself, especially, I was like, I wish my brother was able to, like, still play like video game video games because the way he would enjoy himself so much is wild like he would love it you didn't miss too much um shin we just was chatting we're just now getting in i want to figure out what world i want to do this in because i kind of want to build like a flower shop but i don't want it to be big i want it to be like a cute little size so i need like a small thing and i don't want to use new crest because new crest as y'all know is empty and i don't want it to be empty but then i also don't want to use this because it's it's just it's like what was the point 
Like, I get what they were trying to do. But, like, they should have put more lots over here. Like, this was the freaking dud world, in my opinion. Like, like yeah, they got all these little things and we could, bows, like, bulldoze them down if we want. But, like, why? Why? I'm gonna probably end up coming here, though. I'm not gonna lie. Because I end up always going over there. <laughs> it always ends up being where I end up putting the stores because of that. What did I think? Why did I think it was like 10 p.m.? It's only 6 over here. It's because it gets dark so early. That's why. That's the, the, the whole reason why. I'm, I mean, I like this world, but I don't know if I'm going to put it here. Where, where do I want? I'm gonna put it in Windenburg. I've never played The Sims. Really? Well, I was a Sims then. My favorite Sims was Sims 2. I feel like everybody's fave was Sims 2. Usually. Ooh, do I wanna. Well, you gotta take a freaking ferry to get all over there. But who cares, right? I feel like this could be it. Because we could just change them. Let me see how this lot looks first. But I played the first game I want to say. Oh my God, you had the, you had herbs or just Sims Urbans. Cause I remember my sis. So like my brother was the one that got the first Sims. Um, he got the first Sims, it was his. And I remember watching them play it, and I would play it, and I got scared because I was still a kid. So, and when I say I got scared, I got scared of the ghosts in the game. <laughs> As I got, I remember I played with the goths once, and they, they got caught on fire, and I was very sad about it. And I paused the game and never went back to it, but I watched my, my siblings play. Then I played Sims 2, because my sister bought it. So Sims 2 was my sister's game, and I still remember seeing the ad for the herbs in it and the way i wanted to play so bad i wanted to play that game so much obviously i didn't get to because it was my yeah we're gonna use this one i like how small this is i want a small little lot i didn't i don't want a big lot for this little bookstore that we're gonna do well not bookstore this little flower place because we're also gonna see what the the stuff looks like um can i like change it yes we can uh can i change it to a like store just off the bat house oh, rentals retail yeah yeah we know we need a cash register anyways let us i also need to give me one second you're gonna see um you're probably gonna see um inception in a moment but i need to move my webcam <laughs> because this is slightly in front of my monitor and it's bothering the crap out of me so don't mind this there we go that's better all right <laughs> back to the regular view anyway used to want to play herb so bad i also used to want so many expansion packs but it was my, my sister's game and she didn't want expansion packs so we didn't have expansion packs. i think we had like one or two expansions for sims 2 um and i'm still sad because we don't have the discs anymore because sims 2 was back when you know it took like 50 gazillion discs to like download a game and it had four discs on it and she lost one <laughs> She lost one and I remember wanting to three put like put it on my computer and I saw the third disc was gone I was so sad <laughs> so I haven't gotten to play it again and I missed when EA was giving away Sims 2 for free basically I I didn't know that it was happening so I missed that that wasn't a thing for me um, but yeah uh, it was the best it had everything I I love the Sims 2 I remember that but mine I got Sims 3 and I've adored it though I will say I like the open world a lot 
In my mind, it was GTA versus Sims, and I'd never switch sides. <laughs> I have played every Sims available on PC, and the original one was so hard for no reason. I feel like that was like the true Sims. But that's also why I think that like people enjoy... What am I looking at? What am I trying to do right now? Um, that's why I think people also enjoyed um, like Sims 2 so much. Because it wasn't as difficult as like the first Sims, but like it still had difficulty. Even Sims 3, like they still lessened it, but like it still had difficulty. And I think that's why sometimes there's such a divide between like older Simmers and like new Simmers with Sims 4. Because like everybody who's like older and has like played Sims 4 knows it lacks a lot of the stuff that made Sims so fun. Like how are you not how are you not gonna have burglars? Like I'm I'm sorry, I'm still mad about that. Like, how are, how are you not gonna have burglars? I still remember when I first started Sims 3, I mean Sims 4, I was searching. I was searching so much to find, there we go, to find where the burglar stuff was. And it wasn't. I was like, wait, so people, so I'm, my, my things are just gonna get stolen? And my friend was like, no, there's no burglars. Like, there's no crime. I was like, what? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Sims Herbs stream in the future? Listen, I don't have it though. I don't have it though. I've never played Herbs, but everyone loves it. Yeah, everyone loves it so much. Herbs was for the GameCube. I didn't have a GameCube, actually. I didn't have one. Um... The, I feel like Nintendo 64 was the last Nintendo system that like my siblings got for us. Um, so I didn't have, no, I'm lying. No, I'm not. The Nintendo was the last one that, the 64 was the last one they got. My first system that I got was the um, Wii and like the DS. Those were my first Nintendo things. So I, I missed the GameCube. My cousin had a GameCube but like you know you know guys when they're young and they're like oh girls can't play games i deal with that so i couldn't play as game <laughs> um it wasn't something i got a chance to play uh <laughs> so yeah oh it's a freak of ceiling thing that's fine let's put this oh wait it's bb move object there we go. Yeah, I want to see this. <laughs> like, oh, this thing is. Oh, that's kind of adorable. Oh, and then that goes on the. Oh, and this goes on the. That's pretty. We're looking at the different blooming um, plants. We're going to use other plants too, but like, I want to see how they look. And then I'll look at the different swatches too. A minute. Ooh, we're gonna have so many things for people to buy. Why did I never think to do like a, like a little like, flower shop before? Like I feel like the flower shop thing would be. Oh, this. Yeah, this. This is gonna be. It. Yeah, we're. We're doing a flower shop. That's what we're doing. <laughs> do a little flower retail area. I just downloaded it off Abandonware, but I honestly probably would have paid for it if EA would just release the dang game. I would pay for it too, honestly. Sims 4 is hella expensive and missing a lot. Don't get me started on that rant, especially not on a presented EA thing, but like, I mean, I am using their content, but like, <sighs> it's, you spend so much money on so much stuff all right but these are the different things that we've got pretty nice selection i'm not mad at it to be honest really not oh these are pretty i like that one a lot what's this look like oh oh this is mine that's my favorite Okay, these are very pretty little colorways that we've got going. Oh, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little in love with these plants so far. 
like the way I'm going to use the the this kit so freaking much like do you guys understand how much um <laughs> hold on I keep missing chat so <laughs> It is a travesty, Shin. It is a travesty. I think I had anti-burglar precautions. You know what's funny is I got a physical copy of The Sims 4 at a thrift store for like two dollars. Go. And in Sims 3, you could go steal from your neighbors yourself. Yo, the way I used to use that kleptomaniac like um, trait, and I would, I have a Sim that would that had it, and I would. But the funniest part was she was a she was a klepto, but I made her afraid of the dark, which made for the mo the funniest gameplay because, and she I think she was afraid of the dark. She's a kleptomaniac, but she was a good person, but she was evil. It was it was something that made no sense. So like she had to wait until dark so that she could steal, but. So I would send her to like the land grabs, of course, um, and <laughs> she'd sneak into their backyard or something. She'd steal a random thing. Then she'd be terrified because it's dark outside. Then she'd go home. Then she'd be filled with guilt because she'd be upset that she stole and she'd want to return the thing that she stole. But then she also wanted to get a career as a criminal. And I loved, I loved that save so much. It was so much fun because of that. Um, like she didn't, I didn't have to worry about too much because she just would, st if she needed a lamp, she just went and got the lamp. Um, <laughs> oh, Herbs was on Xbox too. Nice, but the Xbox was my brother's, so like it, it would have, he still would have had to get it. <laughs> Took a kleptomaniac tray and go visit friends. Okay, I want to play Sims now. You should. It's honestly Sims Three gameplay was pretty fun. Like if you were able to like use the world to your advantage i think that was where sims 3 shined but i will say they definitely fixed certain things in sims 4 that weren't working in sims 3 like for example when you do go to a bar in sims 4 it actually does feel lit like there's actually a lot of people there <laughs> whereas you went to a bar in sims 3 and it was a freaking ghost town you were like um like you, you could you you looking around like where is everybody? You couldn't talk to no one. So I will I will give Sims for that. Like they they went in and they fixed stuff. It's just they still don't have enough content for me in a lot of these things. Um, and that's that's where I get upset. To be honest, because. There's lots of stuff that Sims 4 gets correct, like I will give them that, but there's also lots of things they don't, and it's always in the gameplay, it's always in the gameplay. Like this kit is fantastic, but why couldn't it just be a stuff pack and we have like other things as well besides just plants? Like they, they could do so much with this type of theme. Oh, they're different! They're different little animals. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, True, for the biddies. I gotta go prepare for stream. Hope you and chat have a have um enjoy the stream. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thanks for popping in. I hope stream goes good for you. Um, thank you for the bits, and I hope that you have a good week. If I don't see you again. But yeah. Um That's why I ain't ranting, we stand EA. Listen, we don't stand EA. But we give critiques because we love them. Like it's a, it's one of those, you know, those relationships where like you, you like the content so much, you you want the best for them. Like that's that's the type of thing. That's the type of relationship I feel like we got. Where's the piggy? We have with EA. Like I just want them to be their best self. But they be disappointing me sometimes, and I don't I don't want that. I want y'all to do better. I need them to do better. Um. <laughs> I like this kit though. This kit is pretty nice. But I'm also I also free <gasps> 
why is this so nice? <laughs> this is my freaking favorite thing. I want this in my actual house. Like, it's too big for anything in New York City, so I would never be able to own it. But, like, this is so pretty. I'm in love. I am, like, genuinely freaking in love with this set. Like, they're so nice. The plants are so nice. Okay, yeah, we're going to try to do a flower shop. Will it be a nice flower shop? Poss possibly, hopefully. We're going to hope for the best. <laughs> you know, hope that it will be. I'm no pro builder. Um, if you if you want pro building, go to James Turner. It's not me. Go go to go to all of them. Go to you two. Um, <laughs> that's, that's not necessarily what you're gonna get here, but we're gonna do our best. Thank you so much for following Ruby Fox. I appreciate it. Welcome in. If you wanna lurk, that's fine. If you wanna um chill out with us, um, feel free to. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, what have I missed? Did I actually did I am I actually caught up? True, but they took out half of the mechanics I enjoyed. It's true. Have you heard of the Legacy Challenge for Sims 3? Each generation focuses on a different expansion pack so that you can play with all the content you may have missed. I have! I've heard of all of those different, um, like, challenges and whatnot. I didn't do them, though. Because I was bad at doing challenges. Well, I shouldn't actually say I was bad at doing challenges. I'm going to just catch up with the chat, and then I'm going to finish what I'm about to say. Um... And the Sims 4 obtuse buff system just made it not too easy per se, but I just would exploit it and then at some point found myself not playing the game, but playing exploit like you want to play Fallout but end up playing Trash Compactor. Can't, can't spell hate without EA, you stop it shit. <laughs> you stop it. <laughs> okay, let me grab Sims 3 real quick. Do it, do it. My favorite color is teal. Nice. Welcome in, Ruby. How are you doing? Do you want me to call you Ruby? Do you want me to call you Fox? Just let me know. But welcome in. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, how is your Monday going? But what I was going to say before was I actually didn't do any of like the legacy challenges and whatnot. Mainly... Because I was a sim story person. So I did photos and RP and stories. I actually had an entire sim story that I wrote um, and would update for, I think I did it for like two years, technically. Because um, I started it when I was 16 and then I ended, no, I ended when I was 18 or 19 because I was in college but I think I still wrote some of it while I was in college but then because of college it kind of you know fell off a little bit but I still wrote the chapters I just didn't have time to like do the pictures and then when finally like I think like two years later I was like fine you guys can still take it like y'all can have the um <laughs> y'all can have this stuff that I didn't get a chance to finish but I wrote a sim story and then I moved to Twitter and I did Sims RP stuff. So that's kind of the, you know, vibe we did before. So I kind of... I feel like it could be cool. I don't know how it's going to work. But I feel like it could be cool if... I guess let me go to the, the that viewpoint. What view is it? Top down. Yeah, there we go. I feel like it could be cool if like there's an indoor area and an outdoor area so like there's still like plants on the outside because you know how like plant stores sometimes like they yeah they're inside but sometimes there's always like an area that's like out in the open kind of kind of want to do something like that but I wanted to feel cozy like it's somebody that like just decided to build their own little thing um don't know how this is going to do um we're gonna we're gonna figure this out as we go. <laughs> and I want to. Oh, I did that wrong. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, this that's the button I wanted. Ha ha, smart. <laughs> But yes, I, I wrote for that and I did those things. I didn't really do like the challenges, but I used to follow so many like legacy stories and stuff like that. Like, does anybody remember like the berry challenge, which was out for like, like it was such a big deal during Sims 3. 
like when that was out like that was a thing like it was such a freaking big deal and I think it was made by like that like Barry Sim lady or whatever it was what's your fur Barry be up to welcome in Thorn how are you doing she is doing something I don't know um <laughs> she's off being a cat napping more than likely um, we will probably, even though I know I just started, we will end up taking breaks soon, not yet. Um, soon, because dinner is done. I would like to eat. <laughs> what do I want to do? I want to make like a, a deck, and I don't usually do it, so I'm like, how do I do this? Maybe you're like, wow, what do I do? What if I like draw that, right? I mean, I guess technically it could be the same thing. Hold on, we're gonna go back up top. Try to figure <laughs> this bad boy out. I'm gonna attempt to build. <laughs> Try our best to figure out how to do all of this. Uh, da -da -da -da. we're gonna move you over. So we don't need that actually. Welcome in, Sam. How are you doing? Welcome. Life Simmers Generations Let's Play was truly iconic and a staple in the Sims YouTube community. Yeah, I actually wasn't too much in the Sims co YouTube community. I will say that. I was on mainly like Tumblr and Twitch, not Twitch, um, Twitter and stuff like that. That's really where I was um, with the community. I was there. And, like, also, I'm not gonna lie, I was on the forums as well. <laughs> like, the the actual, like, official Sims, like, forums. I was there. I was that girl. That's where my story actually started. I had a whole, like, page for it. Um, I'd update it. And I had a WordPress. So I was part of that, too. I was on WordPress. Um, but, yeah, how are you doing, Sam? We are, thanks to EA, because we got a wonderful cold to blooming to the blooming kit we are going to be making a flower shop so i'm attempting to build um can i like turn this into a deck or what if i just can i just delete the actual like if i just delete that yeah there we go That works for me. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So that's good. <clears throat> and then this will probably be smaller because we're probably not going to make it as big as like normal, you know? I got to clean some collard greens tonight. Slow cook them overnight. Ooh, well, have fun. <laughs> Also, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving or whatever other, like, way you guys call it? Because I know that it's been changing, and rightly so, because of the origins of it. You could have hovered over the walls with a fence to change them as well. I re you know what? I forgot that I could do that. I will say, I forgot I could do that. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> What if I just want to delete, like, the floor? See? Now that was wrong. So I'm going to leave this for now. We're going to just leave that. I'll fix that later. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could just... Don't worry. I, I promise I'm sometimes smart. I sometimes know what I'm doing. Once in a while. Okay. That looks better. Alright, so, 
I want it to be where there's flowers down there, there's flowers all over, but then there should be a register somewhere, but there also needs to be a bathroom, of course. It, like, I know it doesn't matter, because they don't use it, <laughs> but I want to have like an employee area where staff can go and stuff like that, so that's something else I would like to attempt to do uh like i'm 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 a person who does boxes usually so that's that's my forte i'm good at that um <laughs> i would like to not do that Ooh, what if i made the register outside what if i make the register outside and it's an awning and then that would mean that like this half could be employee space um did you say EA gave you something free yeah and I'm good playing a little Pokemon Smash nice oh wait I don't remember if I asked before but do you have an itch.io account so I can send a Coral Island key there when they give it to me. Ooh, I think I do. Let me check. I think I made one. I think I, I think I have one. I'm gonna check this really quick because now I just am like, I need to make sure that I do have one. Um, I should. real question is do I remember my password on my tablet yeah I do okay <laughs> I remembered it um, I do have one so whenever you you have it you can just let me know about that and whatnot. bring it back over Nessa works I do not don't don't go in there stirring a ruckus in chat I do not I'm part of EA's creator network so they were kind enough to sh send me a uh, code for blooming, for blooming kids. So, but yeah, I think I have an idea of what we're doing. So this is gonna be like the the lounge area, or whatever, and then we'll do a little bathroom here. It's like, dude, why do they need to do that much? Put a little couch, little like mini fridge because we got college pack, um, which means we will have it be where there's a door over here so that they can get down in there and i also think i will gate it so that like you don't just walk. well i mean if the register is over here they could technically just walk so they could come in through the front or they could come in through here and i think that's what we're going to set it up for um for the flowers okay so if that's the case then we could do bushes as oh wait forgot i still have blooming kit set um <laughs> we could do like a pretty like bush gate going across you know we could we might change it who knows we don't know um but we might no family around so i'm going to a friend's giving this year oh well that's still nice at least you're still doing something I'll be going to my grandma's this year. That's what we'll be doing. And then I want to make it like an awning or something on top. I mean, I could try my best to be fancy. Fancy smancy. And like... Do like a slanted groove or something that goes on. You know what? I feel like I should attempt. I should try. I should do my best to be fancy today see if it works <laughs> it might not but we're gonna try we're gonna try our absolute best to see if it works so to start off then I'll do this because then hopefully I should st 
still maybe be able to um, I don't know if I'll be able to make it connect but we're gonna try we're gonna try our best to see if we can do that all right so See, this is part of why I never do roofs, because roofs get me so confused sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna do that. And then... No, I told, I told you. Yeah, there we go. And then do that. Like so. And... Go off. So then that would mean I just have to make sure somehow <laughs> the roof connects. So it would have to go down like this probably. You know? We could edit it or whatever. And then this we will No, not save to my library. We're gonna delete. What did I just delete? I deleted something that didn't need to be deleted. I feel it. I can feel it. Or maybe I didn't. Okay. Do that. Alright. Um. Go back down. No plans on- No plans on your end? Okay, cool. Let's see. stupid little thing <laughs> the little corner area at the bottom all right so let's see can we like we need it to go up so we can connect it but like if I make it just go up then it's like that's just a freaking curve yeah that's just a <laughs> what it that would be funny if it worked though. It was like, what if I just made it like, you know, go down or something. All right, so if I keep it low, ooh, if I keep it low, it should do what I want it to do. Somewhat. <laughs> Sorta, kinda. Like, What's so interesting to me is how it's like bigger, but it's really not bigger than the other one. Like, it's just weird how that happens, you know? But like, technically we did it. Whose house is this? This is gonna be a flower shop. So we're, we're building up a flower shop right now. So I wish I could like delete that part, but I guess I could just put like a little, um, thingy there and call it a day and make it seem like that's supposed to be there but then it makes it where I could probably if I want do uh, 
like a nice, like, cool thing, like, like so, you know? At least it's an option. I can always delete this if I don't want to do this. No, I don't want it like that. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da. I do, will say, I do always like the shingles in this game. They're always quite pretty, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're gonna figure out if I actually like it, because I also will say, I don't necessarily like how... Well, can I actually, can I make it go on top better? Okay, I could. Okay, now it's actually the same size. That would fit. That's actually what I would want. Because I <laughs> don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. We're going to see um, if this is going to be possible. Because I want to delete this. <laughs> That's what I want to do now. I want to delete the walls. <laughs> I don't want the walls here. <laughs> the walls can go. I don't need that. So. <laughs> we'll put some, <laughs> some of these in there. that fares see what do we want like I want something that's kind of not basic like I want it to be pretty but I want it still a little like I guess more natural maybe that's the word possibly that I'm looking for I feel like I always have a hard time looking for columns in this Especially because they don't necessarily always have the pretty column, like, as the default color. Like, the default, um, colorway is usually never the one that I like. Um. What other colors do we got? Eh, that's basic. Use this for now. I'll probably swap it to something a little skinnier. Just so I have something there. You know? I really want to get rid of that entirely, but like I don't think I'll be able to. So like we're gonna figure we're gonna figure this out. Like how. Oh yeah, can I not move the freaking column thing? Okay, maybe not. For now then we're just gonna have to push there. Can I put a beam underneath it or a thing? Or whatever. Would I want one? Oh, if I put that there. Well, then could I... Because, like, it didn't seem like it wanted me to do that before, so... Just assumed I couldn't do it. We're gonna undo those. I also don't like the beam anymore. Do the little, the little pillar. We'll do these. Will you move? No? Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Can you make it an igloo? I don't know, honestly, if I could make it an igloo. I'm sure some somebody's done it. <laughs> Some EA person. Game changer or something. One of them has probably done it. Not I. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, 
Let's try this out. Let's see if it looks good. Like, knowing me, I'll probably end up changing it just because I don't like how that part is. This is the one piece. Like, the, 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 the roof part is what's bothering me. We're gonna see. If not, then I'm gonna do that cheat or whatever that we did with Na Naima's place. We'll do that. Wait, which columns are these actually? Okay, so these are from Get Together. Do we have a thingy from Get Together? Okay, so it is this one. Yeah, it is this one. Okay. The inside part. There we go. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. That's going. Let me make sure I actually have my cheat on for a second. Because it's the way I feel like I don't. Okay, I do. Never mind. It's just the columns. The columns just don't like us. Okay, I thought that's what was happening. I'm going to fix it. Thank you. Because I was looking at it like, that looks very dark. Now they're the right color. Okay. So we at least now have, I guess, a base, we could say. Um, this side can also get smaller because we don't need that much space over there. Because, like, I think the entrance is going to be over here, and then we'll have the exit over there. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the stairs and then we're gonna take a break so I can grab some food, eat some food, and then we'll just go right in to build it. I'm just gonna put any old. Can y'all, like, actually, for once, for once in your life, go the correct way? Could you? Could you? Please. I just don't know why that thing keeps doing it. Alright. Marble stairs? That's wild. Alright. Like,. There we go. Do a nice little double staircase. Might get moved, might not. Uh, which also means we'll have a staircase over here. I think over on this. No, come. There we go. Also a double stair. And I'll put a door in. What door, what door shall we use? You want a pretty door. You want one that lets light in. Like, we could do this, but like, I don't like the print. It doesn't come to me. It's not, it's not good enough for me. Um, there was a door that I liked. Oh wait. Of course I can't find it. I'm thinking of Sims 3. That's that's why I can't figure out the door I like. Because the door I'm imagining in my head is not for this game. <laughs> oh, pressed the wrong. I pressed a button on my mouse and it moved it. Let's look for the actual freaking game. Eh. 
I mean, I could just do this. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. I think. Yeah, that works. It fits. It fits the theme of what I'm trying to do. So that, that can work. Um... I mean, if anything, I could... Another idea. Could do a door. Or. Well, you know what? Because I also was like, oh, we could do a door. Or we could do an arch. But, like, since it is, I guess... Outside, maybe not? Cause, like, we could just do that. And have it just truly be open concept. <laughs> like, but then imagine this, like, during the winter time, too. Since we do have seasons. <laughs> These people are gonna be freezing in this house because of the freaking archway. Unless, like, they, they consider archways that go outside the same as a regular door. I would imagine it's not that. So I'm gonna put a door anyway. Um, this is just not a winter-friendly thing. <laughs> this is what it is. We'll do a door and we'll pretend like they keep the doors open. That's what we'll do. We'll pretend they keep the door open during the winter, the summer months. <laughs> I'm happy you guys like the the ceiling, or at least the shin does. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll put a different, um, like, fence gate around it. And then since it is, you know, flower place, should have lots and lots of sun. So we want big sunny windows. Because I feel like, I think at least, I think that whenever I've used the snowy escape windows, they, or at least maybe some of them are just screens. So they don't let in the sunlight, or do they? Let me look inside. Okay, they do. Perfect. They do. Oh, wrong button. That's not the button I'm supposed to press. Those aren't the windows I want, though. But Because I kind of don't know if I want to do, like... Like that, or do... Like the, the big window window. Cause it is a flower place, so I'm like, would make sense for it to have big windows. I like this window more though. We'll see. We can always fix the windows. We can always change that. I just need one good window to put in the corner, I feel. I want I want one in the corner. Oh, what colors does this do? No color I want. Those are. This is a nice window, though. This is a really pretty window. Now I'm like, I need to have a, a place that I can use this window in. Because that's actually a really nice window. I will say, though, I hate the swatches. <laughs> like, these swatches are disgusting. <laughs> you do not like them. But... That one's not too bad. But, like, the window itself... Like, I, you know what? I could make it work with the black. I could make it work with the black. Um, even maybe the blue and white. Like, depending on what the colors are. But, like, the rest of them are... I need a brown. Like, why... Why are you not putting it in a... Why did you not put it in a brown? Like, just... All I needed was, like, one nice brown. Like, a couple of them. Of the basic shades. Like... Yeah, you're killing me. You're killing me. 
but that's a nice window i very much like it i think it looks pretty like the design of it is very nice Yeah, like, see, why did they decide to make one window have the right colorways? Like, why did they decide to do this with one? Like, one window, this one is fine. This one is fine. But then they decided, where was it? Where is it? It was a, the, with the other one. They were like, no, you know what? We're tired of brown. We're tired of the the whites and stuff we're gonna do orange yay why why did you do that to us um it's from the same pack too that's the thing that makes me mad um yeah <laughs> makes me upset i don't know if i'm gonna use that Kind of just going through vibing out trying to see what we like um i think i will keep it for now though but we will do more after my break i am going to oh i need to put the other another window on the side there we go but yeah so we're gonna take a break a break i'm gonna leave the music on for you guys i'm gonna go eat so it's like 35 i'm gonna take like a probably like a 15 20 minute break so we can eat so i also advise you guys to get some water get some food stretch your legs if you need to take a screen break any of that stuff that you might need to do feel free to um and then we will be back we at least have the shell we have the shell i'm proud of that like that usually takes me 50 gazillion years and i'm trying to do something different so who knows maybe i might actually like really like it um <laughs> so we're gonna see how this turns out um when we come back i'm hoping we can finish it today honestly that's that's the goal is to finish this build today and thankfully i don't necessarily like i have things to do tomorrow obviously but i don't have anything to do where i'm i have to get up early tomorrow so it takes a little bit of time it's fine um we will see how i feel though um, by the end because i do have my little my little wrist brace on i think it is helping me though i will say that i think it's helping me um today it's, it's a little weird because you know it's forcing me to sit with my wrist a different way um but yeah so far it's fine and then maybe when i come back i'll swap the screen but there really isn't much for you to see of the only thing that my face is blocking is just like the lock type screen and like how much it's valued at but i can always move that later um if that's something you guys genuinely want to see y'all can let me know in the chat but um on that note i will be back so enjoy yourself and yeah we'll be back
back. Hello, you guys. We're back. And I'm also back with cookies and a two juice boxes because <laughs> my nephew came by on Saturday for a few hours. So of course, my mom got juice boxes while he's here. So. I have a juice box. <laughs> it's like, it's so funny. <laughs> I have oatmeal raisin, by the way. But I have the hard ones. I usually like the oatmeal raisin cookies that are soft. I love a good soft baked cookie. Like, yeah, I could argue about it, but that is, that is a hill I will die on. I love me a good soft baked cookie. Like, those are the cookies that are the way to my heart. But it's got to be like a good one. Like, some are too chewy. Some taste too much like batter still. Like, it's it's got to be like that perfect softness. Like, I'm the person where I take Chips Ahoy and I put them in the microwave for like 10 to 15 seconds to soften them. <laughs> like, like, that's that's me. Like, I, I prefer my cookies to be um, soft as opposed to hard. But yeah, we're back. Hold on. <laughs> it's wild how, like, when we were children, these things could actually last us for lunch. How did we survive off of one juice box or one Capri Sun? I mean, thankfully, like, Capri Suns were made for kids, so, like, they were a little bigger, but they weren't that much bigger. But, I don't mind it, because I like when we get the little juice boxes for him, because he's tiny anyway, so he isn't supposed to have that much juice. So, it's perfect, too, because that means that I won't have tons and tons of juice if I want to eat it drink a juice box like having a shot of juice <laughs> that's just what you end up having and I do not mind that now that little part is bothering me is there any way that I could like make that little part like be better love to see it okay now it's actually like flush love to freaking see it okay but yeah i have oatmeal raisin in case you own getting here that's what we've got going so i guess if this we have this now can i put like a fence like around it or something like go down like, if I wanted to do a fence, could I do it? Great. So I could do a fence. You playing Sims 4? Just made me boot mine up good. Enjoy. Do you remember those low barrels of juice I used to strip? Low barrels? I don't know which juice that is. All I know is that if it was juice, though, I was going to drink it. That's all that mattered. It was juice. I was going to drink it. It was a non-factor. It was going to happen. Let's see. And then you know that also means that eventually we are going to have a stream where I build a cottage. Yeah, like I hope y'all realize that that's going to be a thing that happens eventually. Now they have cottage living. <laughs> Just trying to figure out what fence I want. I mean, I know I can technically just like. Oh, oh, come on, come on, game. Oh, come on, Sim. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> the 
because I forgot to save. Okay, we're saving. We are saving. We are saving. We are saving. <sighs> Ooh, by the grace of God. By the grace of God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, that scared the crap out of me. So yeah, if y'all want to periodically yell at me to save, feel free. I don't mind. <laughs> because... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that almost happened. And that was terrifying. It's the way that I can't... Wow. Isn't that... Sad. Look how ugly it is. We're gonna change the, the fence still. We do. So, I want to do... Y'all can actually let me know this now if you want. Because, like I was saying before, I have to make four new emotes anyway. I was thinking of either... It could be a emote that says save. It could be a command that says save. Or it could be a point redemption. Those are the three options. You guys can tell me which of the three you would rather. Emote, command, or reward thing. Like point redemption. Um, because I do sometimes need y'all to tell me when to save. <laughs> Oh, let me see this link, actually. <gasps> These ones! Oh, man. I never knew the name of them. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I never knew what they were called. <laughs> I just knew that they were always at every little kitty function and I always wanted one. I always had a red one or a blue one. Um, the blue one did slap. The blue one licked drugs. <laughs> I think emo would hold, emo, emote would hold more weight to be honest. That's what I was thinking. I was also saying to myself, I could make it a follower emote because if I make it a sub one, then you know you can only only the subs could do it. But I feel like that could that feels like a, a follower emote type of thing, you know? That at least to me, that's how I feel about it. Um, that's my opinion, at least. But y'all can, as always, tell me what you think of it as well. I guess I could keep them separate. I huh? guess I could make it go to the door. We're obviously not keeping it like this. Just, just for anybody who may be wondering, <laughs> will not. Well, that's then. Why, why would you do the whole thing? Like, why, why would you do that? Alright. Thankfully, I can delete things, but, like, why? Why? Because I do want it to feel like... Oh, that's pretty. That's the fence. That's the fence. We found her. We figured it out. We know which what she is. We've got her. did it we know we know love to see when that happens <laughs> no wrong thing I mean I could always make it small but like Does she have? Because I'm still debating if I want to put a uh, entry in here. Also, what are your color? Oh yeah, I can't do the design. Let's 
because I'm, yeah, that's the color that we actually would want. That's the right color. I feel bad I upgraded to slushies eventually. <laughs> Especially when you get bigger and the chat is going crazy. Well, we're talking about for now. I mean, I don't know how long it'll be until then. But I also feel like emotes are just more fun, you know? So, I think... Don't mind me, I just really need it, so... Chapstick. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do the save as a follower. And that might be a follower emote that no matter what holiday it is, like even if we change up the, the emotes, we'll just redo it for the holiday and it will always be a follower emote. I think that's what we're going to do. Also, hi Lily. How are you doing? Welcome in. For anybody who doesn't know, Lily is also an absolutely lovely streamer. You should all definitely go check her out how are you doing how was your weekend how was your monday um we're just in here playing some sims 4 because thankfully we were gift well not gifted but ea was kind enough to um send us a free code for blooming for the blooming kit so that's what we're doing we are attempting to make a <laughs> a little like flower shop or something so that's what we're in the midst of doing right now. Trying to make a flower shop. I don't know. What the what in the world just happened? Is it because it's not a deck? Is that is that why? Is it because it's not a real deck? Is that is that why you wanna be mean to me? Is that is that the reason? Is that your reasoning for this? I think it is. I think it is. We'll figure you out later. Um, one, why do I always use this exact fence? That's what I would like to know and understand. You know what my favorite hair in this game? The base game, Afro, that they updated... That they updated that used to look like a potato. <laughs> Pretty much all the Sims wear it and I have no regrets. You know what, though? I feel it. I feel it. Because after the update, it was pretty good. I, I will not deny you that. It was a pretty, pretty good, um, hair. Before it, though, I would have laughed at you more than likely. I would have been like, what? What in the world are you doing? What, what do you think is going on? <laughs> I'm a little stressed from work and Wi-Fi issues, so I cook macaroni salad and I'm de-stressing. Well, that's good. I'm happy that you're de-stressing and stuff like that. Um, hopefully the rest of your night is fine. Like I said, you can... Feel free to chill out in here, listen to some music and whatnot. We're doing pretty good, or I should say I'm doing pretty good. Um, had a chill day yesterday, um, just played Animal Crossing. I've been a little obsessed with Animal Crossing, and I blame you. Because <laughs> I feel like the last times that I've raided you, or been in a raid, you've been playing Animal Crossing, and it, like, developed my urge to play. So I've obsessed over it. I think I'm on the sixth day straight, which is big for me because like my my little island is still ugly so i haven't even gotten the dlc because i don't deserve it because <laughs> kk hasn't even came yet like kk has not done his concert yet that's how ugly my island still is so i've been obsessed with trying my best to actually make my island look pretty <laughs> so that's what i've been doing and I'm not mad at it, to be honest. I'm not mad at my island anymore. It's it's progressing fairly well. Um, trying to see what gate I want. I think I like this gate a bit more. For now. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit here. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we all, everybody's just been obsessed with it lately. So, but I do want to, like, open my village back up. Like, my, my village. My island up again. So, like, I'm trying to make it neat. 
It's almost like you know when like you know you want you're gonna have company or like you plan to start having company. So you do a super duper deep cleaning and try to like make your place look nice so nobody knows how like bad it looked before. That's basically what I'm doing right now. <laughs> because I do wanna like repurchase Nintendo online because I stopped it because I was like, I don't use it. <laughs> Like, I haven't invited people over in so long. What's the point of Nintendo taking $5 out of my freaking account every single freaking month? Um, so, yeah. I got rid of it. But I wanna, I'm want i going to repurchase it and all that good stuff. I might... Let me see. Do I want to swap to this one, though? Because this one was pretty, too. You know? It's not a not a bad window it's not a bad window let me see how it like I just wish it was even on, like, I mean I can do it but I, I hate when I do it sometimes because it's like all right that's perfectly even ish we're gonna do the same I want to see how they look I want to see if I like it more than the way that it is in the middle right in the pretty middle there we go and then we need do, does this have a darker swatch actually just oh it does perfect that act oh that goes perfectly with it fan freaking tastic okay now these we could put we could do little windows and whatever like it does doesn't need to be as nice <laughs> i'm not saying that like my employees shouldn't have nice windows but like it doesn't need to be as like grand and in your face <laughs> as the other ones because they want a lounge they don't necessarily want everybody seeing their business they don't need everybody seeing them but they still need sunlight like in the room you know that's at least how i'm going about it <laughs> and then i guess you could do a smaller window do a shutter and put like a curtain or a blind. No, you know what? The shutters I feel like never really look the best, so we're not gonna do a shutter window. We don't need a big one because it is the bathroom. No, that's not the type of either. I think all the small ones are at the top. Ooh, how does this look? Not bad. Don't mind it. We're gonna use you then. I'm gonna put you just over here. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Same exact thing. Perfect. Bam! I would have had my character in a shed with one window. I believe you, Gator. Listen, there's whole challenges for that, so you are not alone. Like truly, you are you are not alone in this. Should I put another one or should I just keep like one window like that? Cause I wanna be able to like mount a TV maybe or put posters or like other things up. I'm just happy because it seems like I feel as though we kind of have the like the place pretty much figured out in a way. Like she, she's doing pretty good. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. Um, we just need to add some doors for the inside. I mean, I shouldn't be that employee, like that employer who like <laughs> doesn't include a, like a door to the bathroom. But I kind of want to make that like an employee's only bathroom. So I don't know if I'm going to make it so that like everybody else should come in. We're going to, I'm going to see. I'm going to see how I feel. That's at least the vibe I'm going for. I'm kind of like, well, y'all just coming in here for flowers. Y'all aren't in here to eat. So what do you need the bathroom for? Like, what what do you need it for? What, what? What's, what's happening? So I think I fixed this thing and then like 
I messed it up. I have a little like arm brace thing that I bought. Because from all the art and then like the gaming and stuff that I've been doing, it's been making my wrist hurt mainly because my setup isn't very good. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really have the space to do a better setup, so that's kind of where we're where we're at at the moment. Alright, but everything seems to be in the right spots. So I'm pretty good. I'm pretty happy. We can go on to the outsides now, I think. Oh, also, other thing for my Discord people, which, by the way, for anybody who does not know, we do, in fact, have a Discord. There's two different ways that you can join the community. One, if you're a sub, you automatically are able to do it. All you got to do is make sure that your Discord is connected to your Twitch, and then you'll just go into settings, connections, and then you will join the twitch the, the discord i mean but if you are a follower you can also join it's just takes a little bit longer because we we try to re weed out the trolls and make sure that it stays a safe community so once you reach 6,000 mono tokens then you will be able to request it as a reward and bam i will whisper you the link and you can join the discord um but for the people who are in the discord hawkeye starts on Wednesday <laughs> so if that is another thing got you Jakara if that is a another thing you guys would like to watch together let me know because I'm 100% going to watch Hawkeye I don't know I mean if I watch it with you guys it'll force me to stay and stay up to date because the last one that was on I kind of like binged it towards the end because <laughs> I forgot but I'm 100% going to watch Hawkeye, so that's going to be a thing that happens. So, and I got you, Jakar. About to wisp you now. But yeah, so that's a thing that we can watch. And uh, yeah, because I'm 100% I'm going to watch it. So that's Cowboy Bebop that if you guys want to watch that, the live one together, we could do that. We could watch Hawkeye together if you want. Like, there's so many options of things. I do 100% want to watch a Christmas movie each week, though, in December. I'm putting that out there. Um, I really would love to do that. Sent you the link, by the way, Jakara. So you can now join it. Be sure to read the, the rules and the roles. Because if you don't read the, the rules and the roles and you don't set your role or whatever, you won't be able to see the, um, the chats. So... That is something you should make sure you do. Also, hello, Black. How are you doing? How was your day? How was your weekend? Hopefully, your Monday is going well. Okay, do I want this shade, though, of brick? I don't mind it. I don't mind the brown. Yeah, I don't think I mind it. What do you consider a Christmas movie? What do you mean? I mean, it's, it's gotta be Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is almost here and I hate it. I'm just on my work break. My weekend was pretty great. How are you? That's good. Hopefully break, break. Hopefully work hasn't been terrible, but um, I've been good been obsessing over Animal Crossing like I was telling everybody earlier so that's really been my my time lately but I'm gonna truly be getting back into making sure I get a lot of the Ooh, this wood is so pretty I forgot jungle living is new for me so um, I'm still like discovering the random new things that I have that's a gorgeous freaking wood oh I love it it's so pretty it's so pretty. Okay, but do I actually want wood or do I want like masonry? That's a lot of brick though. Especially when we already got brick. Hmm. Okay, that's not a color. Oh, this changes colors though. See, it's it's lighter than I thought it would be. Some of these. I 
I might just keep the wood. The woods look nice. But I'm also a big sucker for some wood. <laughs> Would you take Die Hard as a Christmas movie? I mean, in a way, yeah. I mean, if you want to get in that type of perspective. I mean, if we get in that one, then technically I also consider the Harry Potter movies to be Christmas movies because Christmas happens in the movie. Um, you know? Work has been crazy busy. I logged into a 16% service level. Oh, man. Anyone played BDS? What is that? Gator. What do you want to watch? What, for Christmas? Nightmare Before Christmas is the ultimate Christmas movie. You're all wrong if you think otherwise. It is, I do consider the Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas movie. It's amazing because I consider it for both. It's Christmas and Halloween. <laughs> No, Claus is the best Christmas movie. Is, because I want to make sure I'm thinking of the right one. Is Claus the one that's on Netflix and it's got the post, the post guy, posted guy? Because if it's that movie, it is absolutely fantastic. If it's that one. <laughs> um, is Home Alone 2 a Christmas movie? I consider the Home Alone movies, yeah. Both Home Alone movies I consider Christmas movies. To be honest. Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl new Pokemon games. Oh, the new Pokemon games. I haven't I haven't actually played Pokemon games, to be honest. I wanted to get like Sword and Shield, and then I saw that price tag and I was like, well, guess I ain't playing Sword and Shield. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like, well, guess that's not happening. Um But I want to eventually Oh, I did delete the freaking floor i knew i deleted the flooring somewhere i knew i deleted the flooring somewhere i just couldn't tell where hate hate to see it absolutely hate to see it if only i could just come on build floor thank you i was day years old though when i learned how to do it i just wanted you guys to know <laughs> Yes, Christmas movies and shows. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know it was either black. I was over here confused as well. Claus was so amazing. My little heart was not prepared to see 2D animation look that detailed again. Um, that was the most amazing Christmas movie ever and better than Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, minus for this is Halloween. The song gets old fast. Well, one, Thorn. I, I will say, there will be no Nightmare Before Christmas slander in this chat, because it's fantastic. <laughs> it's a fantastic movie. But if Claus is the movie I'm thinking it is, it was absolutely a fantastic Christmas movie, and I am 100% making you guys watch it at some point, because I loved it. I adore it. I feel like it's the most Christmassy Christmas movie I have seen in a long time when it comes to, like, the art and the animation of it it was just too it was so good it brought me back so much like it was it was just so good it was so good i loved it i loved claws um arthur's christmas is also really good um it was it actually was on today and my mom turned it on while she was cooking and i had to like tear myself away from the the um tv because i was over here watching it because it was just, it's just a good Christmas movie, to be honest. It was really good. That's cool. I didn't play the original versions, and I'm liking it. Um, let me swap to the other freaking screen. Because the way I can't see shit. <laughs> I played it, but that acronym... Yeah, that acronym was something, Gator. <laughs> uh, the art direction is also dope. Reminds me of the new Legend of Zelda game. Link's Awakening. 
Long live spooky time. Home Alone is a Christmas movie and so is Gremlins. Yes, I agree. I very much agree, Lily. Gremlins is also a, a Christmas movie as well. I, uh, I also consider it that. Um, I didn't either. I stopped right before they came out. And the story wasn't mind-numbing, dumb like most family kids movies for Claws, right? Yeah, it was good. And it was one of those, I feel like it was one of those movies where like when I first watched it, I think like everybody started to watch it at the same time, but it was right before everybody watched it. Or it was either right before everybody watched it or it was as everybody was watching it so nobody talked about it yet. So like it was just a random movie that was just, just popped up on Netflix one day and <laughs> I was like, oh, this looks kind of cool. And it, it, was, it was just so good. It was just so good. Where would... I'm trying to remember. Retail items. There we go. Because we're going to need a cash register. And I can only put a freaking cash register on the things for the cash registers. <laughs> so, we're going to fix that up. Because I don't want a big ugly one. That's the... Th that's been my problem with this thing is that I think I tried to put a cash register someplace else on something else and it was just so like I couldn't put it on anything besides like what it needed to be on can I like right like I can't just put you up there right I can only put you on to here and it's so annoying like I really wish there were like other ones that we could use we could put it on other surface like other surfaces and I know that probably you can with mods, and that's fine, but, like, I just wish EA would put that property in to the actual freaking thing. This goes. So I can't either. I could keep it out here, or I could put it in here. Like so, like shell, or even in the corner, because then that makes kind of fairly easy access for like you know people to bring their flowers in from the outside area. We're gonna figure this out. Um. Home Alone is classic in its own way. Home Alone is 100% a classic, and I will die on that hill. I will fight anybody who tries to say that Home Alone is not classic. It is 100% a classic. Um, like, that's, that's just it. It's a classic. It's a classic. It, there's no changing it. One of my fav other favorite Christmas movies is A Long Kiss Goodnight. See, I think I haven't watched it, but I also feel like I consider that a Christmas movie as well. Uh -huh. But I'll do my usual Christmas tradition, make cinnamon rolls, and have sweet whiskey on the side. That actually sounds fantastic, I will say. J.K. Simmons is always the win. I'm so sad he didn't get to leave a note or something. Come on, December 22nd, I want the days to grow longer again. Hey, C1, how are you doing? Welcome in. We are, we're talking about Christmas movies. Um, and how Home Alone is a classic. <laughs> While I try to make a flower shop. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There will be no Home Alone slander in this chat, Black. No Home Alone slander. But how are you doing, C1? Um, oh, you're playing Final Fantasy? Nice. How was it? Home Alone is classic and trash at the same time. Yes, no, you two. No. <laughs> I will, I will ban you both. I will block you both. <laughs> it is not. Okay, I'm gonna do some. I think I'm gonna do the, like, little areas here to get the blood flowing at least in me. <laughs> because it's like, I'm going, but I'm not at the same time. So, I want a nice little area that doesn't... What type? What couch is this? <laughs> this looks so uncomfortable. Wait. What kind of monster? I hope this is a park bench 
And even if it's a park bench, this looks like the most uncomfortable seat I have ever seen in my life. Like those little, the way the wood is, it just looks so uncomfortable. I don't want, I would not want to sit on that. Imagine. Imagine. It almost looks like the things that they put on like the, on like the sides of buildings so that homeless people can't sleep on it. It almost looks like that. And that's just freaking terrible. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Um, that's too fancy. <laughs> we're we're decorating our little flower shop area the the cozy place for the workers to be in so we're gonna figure out how we're gonna set this up uh, duh, duh, duh. die hard is not a christmas movie <laughs> Uh, I came in here to hear I will fight someone on that hill but I was just gonna say it is slander it is not facts it's not facts I'm not bad I just got home from work oh that's good hopefully it was a good day at work um, no problem black enjoy the rest of your day <laughs> good and take your home alone takes with you <laughs> Looks like something that would be outside a courthouse. Right, literally. It literally looks like that. I don't mind Home Alone, but I will have to say some of the slapstick is a bit much. You know what, I feel like it's truly just a product of its time. And I feel like it's, it's, I feel like that could be said for a lot of different types of movies. Like for that time, that was, that was what it was. But I also just grew up on Home Alone. <laughs> so I, freaking love that movie i've been watching that movie almost every single year for the longest now oh this is bougie burlap <laughs> how is it that the comfy looking one isn't the bougie one i guess because it looks too much like something that you might be able to dumpster dive and find but like still oh i don't like that color as much i don't want it to be matchy matchy though do brown and then I want a different chair gotta keep it different you know I mean if only the color waves are just a little better but y'all know how I feel about EA and their colors they be out here killing me We're gonna finagle this and get this to be right. Cause we also need a TV in here. Putting a TV in here. Will they use it? Probably not. But I can feel good about myself that it's there. <laughs> you know? Okay, so I could mount a TV on the wall. So like we could do a nice thing here tabletop can this go on the, on the wall no that's on the floor still that's too big we need one that can go on the wall could none of these be mounted on the wall anymore like is that okay you can't i started getting nervous i was like um why aren't they mounting <laughs> all right great perfect just a little bit. Cool. So now we could have a nice little sitting area. I feel like me putting this ottoman is the same as like <laughs> any type of establishment that wants to feel cool with their like employees and they have a break room with a tv and they have put beanbag chairs in there man do corporations love a good beanbag chair that's, <laughs> that's how i feel <laughs> putting this freaking ottoman in here because there's no beanbag and that's literally the exact brain wave i was going it's like we're a cool establishment we have plants they they like the 
environment. We're going to give them a nice little ottoman so they can feel cool and at ease and chill out. It's not too serious. <laughs> oh, man. Like, people who saw the next joke saw, I could see that. What do you mean? Die Hard is family reconciliation movie. <laughs> they come back together at Christmas Day. How do you not take it as a Christmas movie? <laughs> now, Home Alone is a horror story, just told from the perspective of the monster. <laughs> Are you implying that the kid from Home Alone grew up to be Jigsaw? I feel like I've heard that hot take before, and I'm not even that mad at it, to be honest. Friday After Next is the best Christmas movie of all time. Like, there's more to a Christmas movie than just having it be christmas time or day yeah it's a theory out there that he grows to be jigsaw i've definitely yeah i've definitely heard that theory before and it's always hilarious every time i hear it but like at the same time it's it i get it because like who else would think to do those things like it's wild oh there's tables too wait wait what else does this kid have hold on Wait, wait. I not I miss this. Is there more <laughs> that I'm missing from this kit apparently? Like Like what else am I not do is there other stuff? I don't think there is. I wouldn't think that there'd be other things. Like got surfaces I wouldn't think plumbing any activities okay I'm like how what how did I miss that how did I miss that okay that should hopefully be there's lights too there's lights that's so pretty Wait, I don't mind looking through because it kind of lets me just see what it is. Sometimes I need to see things piece by piece. Okay, so that should be all of the blooming stuff. Okay, so we've got surfaces also and we have lights. Good to know. Oh, and we have vine curtains. I missed that too. So we also have <laughs> little fine curtains. Okay, so now I know what I'm going to be using, apparently. Um, <laughs> let me see. Like, he could have actually killed... He could have. It was, to me, like, the type of comedy of, like, Looney Tunes and stuff. But, like, real life. <laughs> that kid is total a-hole being nasty to everyone in his family. Then they're gone he's happy and then he goes to torment some random guys who are passing by obviously he's the monster there's nothing but christmas spirit in that movie except decoration that take though t is wild because the way you said torments some random guys as if they weren't trying to to um get into his own house and also try to harm him as well in the process is wild <laughs> So, but can we all just like fully admit that like those their his parents should have probably <laughs> had him taken away because of the fact that they they really did leave him home when they went tw and it wasn't like it was once they left their child twice while going on a plane cross state lines <laughs> like and when they did it the only person who thought it was wild was the mom everybody else was just like he's fine who cares we're in paris it's fine like i mean i know we left him by himself as a child like not a big deal <laughs> can't can we just all agree on that because <laughs> that was wild. Alright, 
what color do we want to use? Ooh, I'll use this color. Because now we could put like, I guess we could put a lamp on it. Like a, like a regular little lamp. We don't need this now. Now we know what we're using. We know what it is. Let's see. Get my actual water. You should click show all. His family isn't all that good. E yeah, it's not. See, Looney Tunes logic doesn't work with real people. That's what 911 is for. <laughs> he could just give away half of his stuff and cause no harm. You know that there is a reasonable amount of force used in self defense, right? How could he be happy? Um about his family being gone and not be willing to give their stuff away i think though that's also saying that any little kid might like if they've been being annoyed by their family wouldn't at first possibly say wow i have the whole house to myself and then say but wait a second i'm like really by myself <laughs> like i don't necessarily think it was that crazy like yeah we we would be like that but i'm not gonna lie i might also be like wow i could like eat whatever i want for a little bit that's kind of cool <laughs> but then where will he get us the murder murder boner to be jigsaw <laughs> Then thieves wouldn't even have to break in. He would have just given it away if he cared, actually. Well, I never met children like that. But why would... Honestly, though, why would a child give away the stuff inside of their house? That wouldn't make sense. <laughs> why would anybody want to just give away their things to a, a robber? That doesn't make sense either. <laughs> you know? I would have been smoking that Christmas tree in the puppy crew. <laughs> Alright, let's do... Standing lamp, maybe on the side here. Guess we'll try a pink one since we. Oh, it's still. No, it doesn't affect. How dare. Don't I have move objects on or something? Did it like turn off or something? What was. What's the, what is it? Testing cheeks? Is it testing cheats enabled or is it just testing cheats on now? Okay, that's what it is. Because I know they like changed up the wording for stuff and made it a lot like like less letters for everything. But there we go. Because he hates his family and it's their stuff. I don't think he... He doesn't actually, like, hate his family, though. Um, I was home a lot by myself, but I didn't do anything outrageous. And there's no one to stop him from doing things to hurt them, like wasting their belongings. Unless you could not... Unless you could count doing my homework. <laughs> yeah, but you're also bad in a movie, Thorn. You know? It would be a pretty boring movie if it was just him. If it was just Kevin doing his homework <laughs> for the whole thing, you know? try to see if I can remember what <laughs> the key is to make it smaller. Yay, it did. Okay. Great. Yeah, 
that's what I wanted. <laughs> right. So, I just need to figure out the color that I'm going to put in here. So yeah, I'm just going to probably paint it. I feel like I always use the same, like, paint colors for everything. I'm going to try to not do the same color. I don't like that, though, so we're going to change it. <laughs> like, do I want it to be, like, bright? Do I want it to be not? Maybe we'll just see if we can find like a nice. Oh, I actually like that. We may. I think we're gonna keep that. I actually like that color for the break room, to be honest. We're gonna add in some decorations. He said he hated his family. I mean, he does say it, but I felt more like it was like when any kid might say they they hate somebody, but they don't mean it. Like, not the kids that obviously mean it, but like, I think it was just out of frustration. That's And part of it was what the movie was about, you know, was that he wasn't really that he hated his family. It was that he was in a way being neglected by his family because there was so many family members everywhere. That I think that's really all it was. He just wanted some peace. <laughs> there was so many family members. There was so much talking. He was getting bullied by his older brother. And that's kind of... That's what I took from it, at least. Because I know you guys don't like Home Alone. But that was my take. What do we want? What do we want to put... Because, I mean, we could do this one, but that's just too much of the same color. Too much of the same thing, you know? Let's see. What? Are there any posters? Things? Oh, well, we could do stuff like this. You know? We could do one that's a little smaller. Maybe. There we go that over there you could do a bigger picture oh, we're on the side here no that's not what i wanted what is this is there a calendar there should be a calendar in here i think at least i feel as though there should be a calendar there's a dog calendar you know what i'm not mad at it being a pet calendar, to be honest. It still kind of fits. There's the calendar <laughs> for the workers. <laughs> you can see what day of the week it is. Ooh, I should see if there's, let me see if there's like a clipboard or something that I could put in here. Something that, like, ooh, maybe it's inside of the working thing, like the retail stuff. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's go back in here and look again. Unless it would be like a sculpture. That could be a thing too. It could be technically a sculpture. So we'll check in that area soon too. <clears throat> he said he hated his family, whether he meant it was iffy yeah that's how i feel thorn i feel like it was iffy if i don't think he really meant it no i don't mean he hates not by what he says but how he actually acts towards them so i'm watching an anime show and these fantasy people were about to fight over whose favorite food was the best and then the chef comes out and said if you don't stop right now he will never cook for them again and they all sat back down and shut up what show is that and yeah i think i already said I think it was just it was a lot of different um, dynamics I don't think it was just him you know and plus he's a kid I mean I know people don't like when we say this but kids don't really know anything <laughs> they don't even know what they want so like you know it's different perspective restaurant to another world 
Oh, okay. Never heard of that one before. But I'm still pretty new with, like, all that type of stuff. Alright, let's see. Can we find, like, a nice little thing that could resemble a clipboard? That's the artifacts. We don't need artifacts. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Oh, this is for the wall. That actually works. That's something that we could put in here. I don't know if I'm going to keep it there, but that's something we can keep in here. What else? Oh, that's skis, though. We don't need ski stuff. Ah. Can we make this one? Perfect. Like, I know it's not technically for soccer, but like, <laughs> I don't really care. I just need the, the vibe of it. You know? That's what I need. <laughs> garden -y. Like, I need something that looks like they hang their coat someplace. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, that's literally what I'm trying to go for. I'm like, this is their break room. This is where they sit their stuff. This is where their things go. So we're gonna probably, like, change up the way things look in here. Because we're gonna try... We're gonna try to change it up a bit. So that's what we're gonna do. We, we can put the calendar on the side instead. Oh, or we could do both, maybe. We can fit both. Perfect. All the lovely things that we have to do with work. <laughs> Other random shit can be put here. Oh, we needed a mini fridge. That's one thing that we were supposed to add in here. <laughs> so, mini fridge. You can put that underneath probably the. the, um. Or, let me see, we could drop it. And we'll have to send somebody in here to see if it works. <laughs> Make sure they can open this and sit down here. You know? Yeah, his parents suck big. Yeah, they do. Like, if you like the food and Food Wars, but hate the fan service, it's the best show ever. I haven't watched Food Wars, so... But for anybody who has, y'all can check out that anime that she mentioned. Kind of like the black one a little more. I have no, I lied. I'm gonna keep that. And then, can we put that on top of it? Right here? No, we can't. I mean, I probably can't, but, you know. That's not a big deal if I don't have it. Anything else that's random that I can put in here? This one, can I put? Yes, I can put things on top of it. Perfect. Let's see, what else can we do? Okay, go back to this or we'll see what clutter there is. Could just put like a nice little tissue box up here and call it a day, you know? I don't know why I just got a random like 
jolt shock thing through my toe. Can I fit a pencil holder up here too? Perfect. That's cool. That works. <laughs> okay, I think this area is pretty set. I don't think we need like a bunch of stuff over here. Well, I actually do feel like we can put a little a little more random shit up here. Like anything else that looks like it could go inside of. Today's special sign. No, we don't need that. It looks a little too much like a restaurant. That's not what we are. What's on the menu? My first smoking. Okay. What are the colors? This is. Oh, that's pretty. Alright. And then chalkboard menus oh there's the large cork board what if I make it smaller put you up here maybe so I feel like inside of like a work place is always low key overcrowded for like no damn reason <laughs> what else okay I think we can go back to regular posters now like if I could just find something that looks a little planty that would be nice a big tree decal like if there was one that just looked like a bunch of plants or something I don't know <laughs> but I think I feel like this area is pretty set at the moment you know I don't think there's much else to add in here I don't think we need anything else I say as I try to find more random shit to put in here yeah that's it okay so this area is good Maybe we'll add a rug. Yeah, maybe we'll put a little rug or something in here. What is this? What the heck is this thing? Don't know what it is, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Also, kind of just a sucker for adding rugs into things. Cool. Employee lounge is done. It's set. It's good. I like it. It feels like it's to a plant store. <laughs> so, um, ooh, clock. Thank you. I wonder, would that be in? Or maybe they have, like, where would the clock be? Would it be in electronics? Like, I don't wear the heck with clocks anymore. Oh, okay. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but why are they, okay, good. I was about to be like, why are they all ugly? Put it on top of the TV so they can have to look at it. <laughs> no, I'll put it over here. I think it fits better over here. Top of the bathroom. There we go. That works. So, yeah. So that is set.
That area is good now. We can just now we just gotta do the bathroom, which shouldn't be too too crazy. It's just a bathroom. <laughs> like what do you what do they really want from me? It's <laughs> what more? What more shall they have? Alright, we're gonna do a regular toilet. We'll do a nice toilet so they're not like struggling. But it's just a regular old half bath. There's no shower or nothing in here, so. Perfect. Bam. <laughs> well, um, guess we'll add in some accents or something. Alright, let me put on this side. Uh, anything else that I can add in here? Make it look like there's more things happening. No? Oh, I can add a soap. In here. I mean, I can, if I remember the button. Um, <laughs> nope, that wasn't it. That's for sure. That is for freaking sure. Alright, I guess it's the other key. Uh, what? There we go. There we go. And that's flush. Perfect. Add in a color. <laughs> Random color. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, imagine being... You know what? I won't do that to them. I will not give them a yellow bathroom. That is like... Peak... I do not care about my workers. Like the, the yellow bathroom is the absolute worst. All right, I get what should should I add? Uh, I'll add a painting, maybe. <laughs> I'll add something in here so it's not just a box, even though that's more than any player I've ever had has done for me. <laughs> it's usually not much in bathrooms. They don't truly care. <laughs> I'll give him a pipe. <laughs> I'll give him a freaking pipe or something. That's what I'll do. <laughs> there. Decoration. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh, a trash can. Yeah, that would be nice. That would help. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised I don't just put the trash can in there. That's too No, there's a trash can here, so that's weird. Little waste bin. I'll get the black one. It looks a little better. Put it right here. There you go. Perfect. Um, I guess I should put a little trash can here as well. Put it underneath the TV. Cool. That's perfect. Great. So now we can get started on everything else. Really? <laughs> oh, let me save. <laughs> Before I forget. Um. <clears throat> Neon, welcome in. I can't remember if I said hello before, but hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm talking with the Coral Island support team to upgrade my tier and I'm stressed. We have to figure out how to change the card on file because I got discontinued a few months ago. Oh no! Also, one, I hope that it goes well and two, if you're not able to upgrade your tier, I 100% understand. Um, I, I will be fine. I very, very much appreciate though that you're trying to do this because I would love to play but don't stress yourself out too much, okay? A yellow bathroom ain't right. <laughs> I feel like it can be pulled off, but more times than not, it doesn't sit well. It does not. It does not. And I almost did the ultimate sin of doing that. It definitely almost did that to them. And yeah, that would have sucked. <laughs> All right. So now 
I want to figure out what plants I want to have as decoration and what plants we're going to have to be bought when we do it. Because that's what matters. That's what's most important. It's figuring out which ones are for which. So, first things first. I want to just see real quick. Alright, so I know I'm I'm putting this in here someplace. Like this is this is going somewhere. Where I don't know. But it's going somewhere. It's it's going to be someplace. Like it's it's a thing. It's happening. <laughs> no matter what. It's it's gonna happen. So, <laughs> that thing is going in there. Okay, I'm going to give my wrist a break from this thing. I think it's done its job for majority of the day. I'm going to give it a second to relax. And then we'll be able to see if it really does help. Because my wrist doesn't hurt. It just needs a break from being in it. Doing alright, been sleeping for most of the day, then modding a bit. Just made some food to eat for the day and relaxing before figuring out the schedule for the week and some gaming. Nice! Well, I'm happy that it's going well for you. I'm just gonna move my mic so I can take a bite of my cookie. <laughs> okay. I almost feel like the inside should be more display and the outside should be more of like what's being bought. It's just because there's so little space on the inside. That's what I'm thinking. Also, my day's been pretty good. Um, I mainly have been kind of like relaxing for most of the day, to be honest. Um, I've been kind of chilling. I played some Animal Crossing. So, this week is going to be a busy week because I have to, you know, get back to things that needed to get done last week when I wasn't feeling good and when, um, I was sick and all that stuff. So, I have some catching up to do, to say the least. Um, that's, that's definitely what I have going for me at the moment. I got to catch up on a lot of stuff. So, that's what I will be doing this week. Like, I gotta actually finish up with that, um, that whole commission I was doing for my cousin that I was working on last week, on Wednesday, so that needs to be done, it needs to get done, you know, so, all that type of stuff. I kind of want to put, like, a display or something in the middle. Do I want to use, like, a display display, or do I want to use, like, a tape? Let's see. So I could use this in the middle and like put some stuff up there. But, or I could, let's see. Or I can use the retail things and do a pretty display display in there. Like, just like chilling in the middle of the area. wish they had more pretty displays that's something i'm gonna have to like look for in for cc definitely something i need to look for for cc okay let's see if i can fit some some nice little planty plants on there What's the key? There we go. How dare you? How 
dare you do that to me? Like, the audacity for you to turn off. Like, who gave you- who gave you that right? Who gave you that right? Nope, wrong button. Here. Nope, that makes it big. Oh, am I not able to make you go up or down? Ooh, the audacity! Okay. I can make you go up or down. I just couldn't make that one for some reason go up or down. The audacity of that. Just terrible. Alright. Really? Really? You're gonna- you can- okay, there we go. I was like, so I can do whatever I want with the other stuff, but like, I can't make you go over there? That's wild. Alright, because this one's so big, I kind of don't want this one here anymore. I need something that a little grander, you know? Feels prettier. Something more special. Ooh, can I fit this if I make it smaller? tall enough. That fits. That's good enough. Let me change the color though, because it's blending into... Oh, the wood doesn't change. Okay, that's fine. Do the blue. Still pretty. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mother Nature sucks. Like, I wish I could ban her from visiting without it meaning... <laughs> I'm making a bun. Literally, that's how I feel. That's that's what happened to me last week. So I feel it. And it's annoying. I just don't want the leaves to go into the other one. Okay. So I actually think that's gonna be all the stuff that we put in the inside of it. Not for decoration. We're gonna put more decorations, but I think like that setup is gonna be fine of what we're gonna do. And I think that's what we'll we'll do for that. So you can do other things. We do we need that? We don't need that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Are we gonna use it though? Probably not. But like, adorable. Adorable. The day I become rich, I'm paying someone to make a device that gives guys it too. I feel that. Though technically guys can't have it. But I know what you mean. Where people who don't have periods can experience it. Because. Oh man. Man does it suck. Okay. And which some of the what is it? Ooh, are there other are they all the same type of thing? No. If only if only they were other types of stuff. I guess I'll leave this one. I don't mind that. I don't cause I kinda wanna leave things up that shows that like they've been around for a while, if that makes sense. Like this is their flower shop. We're gonna add more flower things though. There's not nearly enough flower stuff in this in this place. I 
Oh yeah, there's this flower now. This plant, I should say. Slightly so I can actually see like what's going on. Maybe I will try to find the vines. Try to find the the vines I like. Cause I can't remember where they are. The vines that I like. Because it's not these. These aren't the ones that I'm looking for. I think they're in the outdoor stuff, but then now, like, when I'm thinking about it, I don't think it's, um, small. Like, I mean, I can make it smaller, but, like, I don't think I necessarily want them to be too small. So. What if I put it inside of here? Would it <laughs> Wait, is the way it can actually, like, work technically? Like, on top? <laughs> That's funny. That's staying like that. <laughs> that is going in there just like that. That's funny. <laughs> There are scientific machines to experience them, and apparently that hurts, like, it does, because it does hurt. Like, I didn't make jokes about us being moody for having one that shit hurts at times. I know there's a machine that replicates what we go through when we give birth. You def- yeah, definitely not okay to make fun of that, because it can be a lot to handle. Watch the- try to do that, it was so funny. Watch the- yeah, he was struggling. I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's painful. All that stuff is painful. Alright. Oh, I can put the, the, the sunflower thing up now. I'll put that up as the... Uh, some decoration instead. Oh, I can also make it bigger. I forgot. Oh, do I want it bigger? No, I don't. I think it's fine this size. <laughs> that works. And then... Uh, honestly, I think I'm just gonna put in the color and then go outside. Call it a day. <laughs> you know? Wouldn't mind. No, I don't want the molded base. I want, like, a nice base. I want to see how it would look with the wood. But sometimes I don't mind the wood. I just don't like the colors that we have with the wood. You know? Like, that's my problem, is the colors that we have. I usually like having, like, molding and stuff. At least I personally do. Keep things green. For the greenery. We'll be basic. <laughs> There's a way deeper level of aesthetic design in this than um, Animal Crossing. Oh yeah. Sims is a lot. Sims is the OG, man. <laughs> like, Ned did the longest because Ariel was prego and he wanted to feel so share her pain. Well, kudos to him because I don't wish that pain on anybody. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I feel like that's good. I could probably put some, like, decorative flowers up next to
I just love all the random flowers that I can put on top. Too, or is that too much? Oh, I can't put the little cactus on you. Love to see it. Okay. I actually would rather have... Wow. little cactus up here. And then... No, you over here. Nope, you don't work. But that's fine if you don't stay. You can't stay there. Not a big deal to me. Or, can you fit? No, you're big. Okay, great. Oh, this is adorable. I absolutely adore it. I'm going to end up playing in this. I can't wait. Oh, wait! What just happened? What? What did you do? <laughs> what did you do, Thorn? You said spine? Wow. Wow, Automata. I didn't even get an alert for that. That's the wild part. That's why I'm so confused. I guess it was because of stream elements and not like, you know, regular auto mod. Because I turned on auto- the mod settings on stream elements too because you know of the things that was happening before and I didn't take it off so that's probably why you got hit I don't know but don't try to get it done again I'll for, I'll end up taking it off the list or I'll just end up fixing up stream elements with that stuff can you always design before starting the game what in um sims 4 do you mean like, am I able to do it? Or just like, literally through like the technicality of the game, can you start it before? Cause you can, technically. You want. You can build whenever you want in this game. All right, now we're gonna start trying to build like the areas to be bought. I still want to include that one surface, that one table, because it's just freaking gorgeous. So I just want it in here. <laughs> <laughs> because I can. <laughs> Will I actually have all of these tables? I don't know. But I just really like them. I think they're really pretty. The only thing I wish is that they had more browns. That is really my only gripe with it. Now, for the fun stuff. <laughs> for the, the fun things that we can... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's an eco. I didn't know. 
Yeah, because I'm not sure how these games work. Ooh, like Sims? But yeah, as I was saying, I had as well the drugs the moment I felt pain. I didn't know the epidural was a giant needle to the back. Ooh, yeah, it is. But yeah, if you're talking about Sims, yeah, it's the building is just as important as the gameplay. Or it can be less important than the gameplay. Like, it's really just up to you and what you want to do. But like, yeah, you can you can definitely build or and all that stuff as much as you want. All right, so I am also going to take it upon myself to assume that I should <laughs> keep them in the regular placement so that the things I know I want to be bought can be interacted with and like can get the thing put back up on it because I can't remember if on the last build that I did if I tried to do move objects a lot and like it didn't actually like you know make it where you could buy those things because they weren't you know the right type of stuff so I'm gonna try to make sure that I don't really use move objects much on the spots that I know I want things to be bought. So I'm gonna let the actual table do its thing with this stuff. Which I don't mind because they technically can always grab it as long as it's, you know, done the right way. It's not too big of a deal for me. That's that. What other cute small things can we put up here? I guess we could do the same. Oh, we can do these up there. Oh, I can only put one up there? That's no fun. <laughs> do this one is those hmm, I wonder why I can't go on the top hmm, I wonder why it only has one slot up there can I put something else that's small up there too or is that just like it let's let's see shall we Seeming that way. Like, where are those little flowers that we had before? Okay, so I could put that up there. I want to make this its own thing, though. I want to have a shelf of those. You know? Where is that tiny flower? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Can these fit up top with it? Oh, I didn't click it. Okay, so these can fit up top with it. So we'll put more of these. how this one will be and we'll see if we can put like bigger stuff at the bottom you know I'm just imagining this music playing while living at this house being built and completely vibing and relaxing through the day imagine <laughs> man just watching all of these flowers get put up like talk about living your best life I would love it. I want to see, can I put like a bigger, no, that's too big, um, <laughs> like a slightly bigger flower set underneath. Oh, I could put these. That actually works. There's one thing I will definitely say I've learned from having a... <laughs> doing a retail thing before in this game was do you can have pieces that cost like a nice amount of money really helps you out because then when you like do your, your price up and all that stuff it um 
helps you make your money back really well. See if we can put something else in there. We're gonna change these, don't worry. <laughs> All this. These are like the cutest things to me. I think they are so adorable. Like, I genuinely love these little, <laughs> these little guys. They're so cute. So freaking cute. Anything small that I can put up here. Like honestly, I in a way I feel like we need more tiny things. More more tiny flowers. Oh great. I can put you up there. Not that, that works. Oh, you could go up there. That works for me. Can I put more of you? Oh, cool. If that's the case, then I just won't even have you up here. So why do you need to be up there? You just put these guys. You know? Have them be up there instead. And then have different colors so that they're not all the same thing. Because who wants that? Like, a full greenhouse would be amazing, but I'd have to study plants, because I don't even trust myself with just one. I believe that. Yeah, this is going to be a shop. So, I'm planning to have this be a little, like, flower shop that um, could actually be used in the game. So, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for with it. I just don't know if I want it to be Nai, like Naima who does it, or if I want it to be like a completely separate sim that I can play like as the shop owner. And I probably will do that because Naima already has too much stuff, like she doesn't actually, she really doesn't need to run her own shop, like let's, let's be honest. She does not need that. <laughs> so that's something I may think about doing with a different sim that I may make one day because I really wouldn't mind using it. I would just need to make sure that whoever uses it can afford it because this is, you guys can't see, but so far this lot is already valued at $30,000, $30,325. So, um, it's not a good amount of money. Ooh, I got you, Thorn, I got you. Do items respawn after being sold or do you have to input new ones? They respawn, but they only respawn if you you or your employee goes and restocks it. So it's like actually like a whole thing. Maybe I will, after I've built it, because I think we should be able to finish it tonight. Um, maybe after I've built it, the next time we play, maybe I'll actually like play with the shop. <laughs> so that you guys can, like the people who aren't like, like Sims people can see how it runs and whatnot. Because I personally enjoy the shop quite a bit. Um, I enjoy the retail system. Um, I think it's fun. I like it. <laughs> you know? Whispered it to you, Thorn. 
Just make sure you read the rules, make sure you read the roles. Feel free to take a, a tour of the various channels after you've set your role. Because you won't be able to see it until you do all of that. But feel free to check out the channel so you know where you can post into what. Because I try my best to keep everything organized, so feel free to check that out. And also welcome in. <laughs> She could own the shop but have other people running for her. See, I almost wish that was a thing, but it is not. So, like, the only way for the shop to run is if you are there. You have to be in, on the premises. You have to be able to, you know, open the shop yourself and be there. You can have workers, but, you know, you, you got to be able to be there to do it. So, that is, that is something to also remember with um your shop is it it truly is your shop so unless you're there <laughs> if you're not there to do the stuff then it's not gonna work I'm tempted though to see if it would work if like I have them as object stuff. On. I'm very tempted to see. So we're gonna do it like this and see what would happen if we did it. So, so I feel like the sign should still work, you know? But we'll see. If it glitches out or something, we'll know for a fact. Like when we actually are playing it. these cuties over here. Okay, you're on the floor. You are big. Making male sims is hard. I already struggle dressing my female sims because I have no sense of style. But male is a whole different struggle. It definitely is practice. <laughs> like, really start off with different cultural dress styles for one group. Then break it down into subsets and brainstorm slash mix and match. So you find something you like. I'd assume there's a solid amount of examples online. I feel like one of the problems for me with male sims is that... I download lots and lots and lots of things for like my female sims, but then I neglect the CC for my male sims. That's usually my biggest problem is that like I don't actually have enough things for them. <laughs> and then they get upset, obviously, because I mean, I get upset because I don't have much clothes. So then I feel like I'm bad at making male sims, but it's just because I don't have as much custom content for male sims as I do with, um, <laughs> female sims. And that's, that's been my thing for as long as I can remember. I think I've always had that because I sometimes also tend to download content based off of who I know I want to dress. So, like, if I'm trying to dress, like, my main girls or, like, a specific girl all the time, I'm not gonna have the clothing for the other sims that I may have whether it's a girl or a guy so like at one point I had mainly like very what's the word that I'm looking for I had very like e-girl aesthetic type of things for a while because the main girl I was playing in sims 4 that was the style she wore 
like I didn't have anything for like Naima, for example, because they had completely different styles. So I do it based off of who I'm gonna dress, even though like I know I'm I'm gonna end up having other Sims that I want. So I don't really have enough CC for like a lot of different like Sims that I have that I want to use. What colors do we have? Do we have enough? Eh, I don't necessarily like the pots. I want pretty pots. I want pretty pots. Um, that thing's gigantic. Oh, I can do these. Over in the corner. I'm also trying to make sure that there's like enough space for people to walk by <laughs> in these areas. The one thing though is that technically I feel I really do have more than enough things. Like just so that y'all know, I definitely have more than enough things in here to have a shop. <laughs> I really don't need this much stuff, but we're going to do it because I like things to look pretty. And I want it to feel like a really full shop, you know? It's kind of what I want. I want it to feel really good. So, maybe we'll put something in the middle, we'll see. I mean, I could put another one of these and put something in underneath it, but I don't know if I want to. Before the end of the stream, shouldn't you test run it to check everything works smoothly in case you have to rearrange? I mean, probably, but I also know that there's certain mechanics that I want to check, and I'm not sure how I'm going to feel after stream, because it's going to be four hours. So we're going to see. We're going to see if we're going to test it after stream or if we're going to test it during the next stream. Because <laughs> that's also the thing. I'm not going to just shove it onto like, let's say, because I don't mind, by the way, putting this in my um, gallery for you guys. But I'm not going to put it in the gallery until I test it. Same thing with the house that I made for Naima, which is in, the, in my gallery, by the way, for anybody who may not know. Um, but I didn't put it up there until after I tested it. As in, like, I played slightly with her to make sure things worked. Like, especially things that need interaction. And the main thing I want to make sure works with interactions is I want to ensure that um, when we're playing, the restock is fine. That's the biggest thing I want to make sure is okay. I want to make sure that when, it's, when things are restocked, it actually restocks properly. Um, that's the part I'm a little nervous about. So, I want to see first if the restock signs will go in the right spots especially since some of the things i am using move objects for so i want to make sure that it's going to actually work um because if not then i'm going to re rearrange things better for um for it to be played because i don't know about y'all but i mainly played sims for for the gameplay despite that i me complaining about the gameplay not being the best um that's still the main thing I play it for. <laughs> so I want to make sure I can actually play it, you know? Alright, that's... Oh, this one's pretty. This has to go someplace. Oh, there's a wheelbarrow that's adorable too. I can put that probably outside and like do landscaping. Cause I, oh yeah, I still gotta do landscaping. I have all the packs except but two, I rebuke it. <laughs> so I'm trying not to depend on mods and CC and actually use what I paid for. There are exceptions though. MCC, woohoo wellness, the no EA lashes, the skin default. Yeah, I feel exactly how you feel, Jakara. I would try my best to mainly play it. Like even though I know I have it, I do have down that it's modded, cause it is, I do have like some mods in, but my mods are usually just with my Sims themselves and not too much with um like the furniture i have a few furniture mods and i probably will get more cc for it but um 
I also have like MCC and Better Build and like Tool and stuff. I don't have the the Wicked Whims or the the Woohoo stuff because I mainly just try to play it like the game for the game. But um, I also don't play enough for me to be tired of the gameplay, especially since there's not that much. But I digress. <laughs> Oh, it would be cool if that actually would have worked. Could have been nice if it could have went, like, across. That's big. That's big. That's not big. We can put that to the bottom. Can we actually put more of them at the bottom of it? No? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, it really feels kind of like a flower shop, though, low-key. Like, to me at least. It really does feel like this is, this is a place for you to go and grab what type of flower you want. This is so... I like it a lot. I'm very happy so far with how it looks. I'm gonna put these in the middle because they're just pretty. They're, they just work. They're gorgeous. So we're, we're gonna put you front and center. Here, yeah, now I can see you. <laughs> now I can see you. <laughs> and I'm kind of hoping that it will work just for the sheer fact that EA has been so lenient when it comes to things working with move objects on. Like, they have been so good about it with Sims 4. So I want to say, like, hope that it will, it, they will be fine. But mainly just because I don't remember how I did my last retail place. Like, I genuinely do not remember how it turned out. balance Ooh, wait this actually looks pretty nice I'm not mad at it I'm like literally all of these would be set for it who knows maybe I will just shove well then I you know what it is because then I'd have to like legit start a story and like buy a retail space so I think maybe next time we play Sims 4 I will be making a sim as well. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll make the sim now. We'll see. Because, no, I'm not going to make the sim now. Because I'm still not done with the place. So what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I still have the landscape. Um, <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> we are not finished. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? What am I, what am I thinking? Hi, Katana. How are you? What does CC mean? Yeah, creator content. Um, Wicked Whims was fun. I'd add it back if my computer was in a closed room, but not risking my nephew seeing that. Even if I have the stream, the steam remote fill in. Listen, I understand. That's part of why I usually don't do those types of mods. Because even though I know nobody uses my computer for anything, and I know nobody wants to play my games, I don't need for that one day that someone decides to say, man, Vanessa really does have all of these games on her computer. Why don't I just sit and play them? I don't need for that one day to happen. And I've forgotten I have these mods in it. <laughs> that everybody's going to look at me like, what do you be doing? <laughs> Are orchids available? Are they? They might be. They probably are. I tried it out of curiosity. It got super confusing. I have to download separate actions and it didn't come included. I'm swell. That's good. I'm doing pretty good, Katana. Um, we are, thanks to EA Creator Network, um, EA gave me a code for the blooming kit. So we are making a flower garden, like not flower garden, flower shop with 
all of the various types of flowers we have, including flowers from the blooming kit. So I'm very excited about it because I love me some flowers. So um, <laughs> it's been going pretty good. It's been going pretty good. So we really are at now the um, outdoor part now. Now we just have to do everything else, you know? We just gotta do like the landscaping, making it look pretty, you know? Making the place look pretty, but for once, I kind of had a bit of a vision of what I wanted to do. Very surprised by myself as well. Like, look at this. I mean, I'm an amateur, but I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of how this turned out. I even got fancy and put a roof on it, like, and I made them, like, connect. That's a big deal for me. That's a very big deal for me. I just hope y'all realize this. Ooh, I just realized something I, I might want to do. Because I know that I did it, like, I changed it before. No, wrong thing. Wrong thing. What if I made it big like the other one was? Like, because I know I only, like, got rid of it because they didn't fit. But, like, what if they did go over? That could look nice. Yeah, and then we get the awning still. We get a little awning or whatever. That could be pretty. That could be a vibe. You know, that could be something. Oh, now we just have to fix that part though. So, let me see if I can fix it. Fix the... I feel fancy. <laughs> I remember being on campus one day and was playing it around my friends and left my game unpaused. Why they started screwing on the couch and their teen child was doing drugs in the bathroom. My friends was looking at me like I had a second head. See, now that's the type of stuff that I don't need anybody seeing. But also, in all honesty, I don't mind not having that stuff either. Like, I don't necessarily need it um in my game and i think that's part of why i was like because eh, everybody's always like you should get wicked wins and i'm like eh. on one hand i don't need people seeing it on the other hand do i really need to, to have my sims doing drugs in the bathroom i don't i'd rather them just eat on the toilet because they don't got a seat at their table <laughs> to eat at so they decided to go eat on the the side of their tub <laughs> like that's that's my vibe. That's that's what I'm going for. <laughs> well, if you're a guy, technically you do. You know, me? That's really the stuff in the, the mods, So That's the thing that's so funny. Alright, so we're gonna put, I think, some, like, obviously some, like, shubbery and things like that. Some, the cat, cat, oh yeah, because I have cottage, cottage living now. Don't mind me as I, I eat my cookie. Also, hello, Nancy. How are you doing? How was your weekend? How was your Monday? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Ooh, I know one thing I do want to do, actually. Can I lift my whole freaking house? I know I can. I'm trying to remember how to do it real quick. Yes! I wanna move my house. my house backwards so personally I don't well I don't want it all the way back there. yeah I think that's that's better yeah one more square yeah 
Okay, so I personally want a nice little walkway for my little shop. cute little walkway I would add a pond but I feel like that's extra I feel like I'm being very extra if I add a pond but I would 100% add a pond in here I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna hold you I would do it I would do it I really like this bush here. Really like this bush. No, don't want that. I really only add it in if I'm truly bored of the game and I need them to do something by themselves that'll give me a good storyline. I feel that. I definitely feel that. Where's the gator-shaped bush? I don't think there is one. <laughs> gator. <laughs> nah, pop up. Ain't nothing wrong with the pond. Been doing well since collecting my thoughts of the year. Since we are entering into Thanksgiving. Thinking of the things I'm grateful for. That's nice. That's a that's a good mood to be in. I'm doing pretty well. We've been I've been pretty stuck on Animal Crossing lately. So um that's kind of the vibe I've been on lately. That's what we've been dealing with, that's what we've been doing. But yeah. The cramps are real this month. I'm gonna hop off. No problem, Thorn. Take it easy, okay? Um do whatever it is you need to do to to be okay. I know how rough it is around this time so take care of yourself okay and thanks so much for popping in though and hanging out with us no, don't like it don't like it anymore wow that's a big bush here's my little hydrangea I love me a garden with lots of flowers. Like, that's that's something you'll probably find out about me. I love me a garden with lots of freaking colors and flowers and things. Aiden, hey, how are you doing? How are you? How have you been? As an Animal Crossing veteran, I wasn't feeling this game. Compared to New Leaf, New Horizons lacks what its predecessor was praised for. See, 
I can understand, but I also can't because I've never, I didn't, never played Animal Crossing actually until um, this new one. And I feel like it was mainly because everybody made it look so, well, one, it was super cute looking. Um, and everybody was playing it and they made it seem so fun. So I was like, I want to play. I want to have fun. But yeah, I also would love to know um, as well what the differences were because I 100% don't know what the differences of the game were. So I'd, I'd love to hear it. If you feel like spilling the beans, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm alright. I've been kind of MIA on Twitch recently because of dealing with life stuff, but it's nice to see everyone again. That is 100% no problem, Aiden. I hope that things have gotten better for you in life and whatnot. But it's it's good to see you. It's good to see you again. Hopefully things are better with whatever you were dealing with with life. Um, hope things are going okay. Hope it wasn't anything bad that you were dealing with. Um, you know, hoping for the best for you. Be aware of my long paragraph or two. No problem, Nancy. You're good. Oh, thank you, Neon. I appreciate that. Ooh, a good time for me to remember to save. <laughs> Oof. You guys would be proud of me because I also know that y'all love to make sure I take care of myself and had like a little, my little self-care day was absolutely fantastic. I just like rested on my bed in my little onesie, played Animal Crossing, took a nap, took a nice bubble bath with like Epsom salt and all that stuff, did a face mask yesterday. Like I really took it easy, but now this week I really got to get shit done. So that's part of why I gave myself yesterday because I knew I was going to have to do a lot of stuff this week um i gotta finish my commission i gotta um clean oh, dirty. <laughs> and do twitch stuff so i need to do emotes i need to work on overlay whatnot because i can't believe it's almost december like i keep feeling like i have so much time and then i i don't have that much time before december so i stress that other people do more self-care than me Ayo, bubble bath and face mask sounds it was lit it was it was a pretty lit bubble bath it was really good i love me a good bubble bath what i need is a massage but one day one day i'll get that finally well not necessarily bad but it's changed in figuring out how to process certain things okay i get that i get that hopefully things will are working out then or at least on the path to working out then because change can always be something after two hours, I finally finished creating the two sims I'm going to play the breakup scenario with. See, I need to try out doing scenarios. I I haven't tried scenarios yet, because I almost feel like that's kind of like EA's way of like <laughs> giving us constant content to do, since they can't make it like, a, like how the multiplayer games are, and they just always have some type of like... Not free thing, but thing incentive to make you play daily. I ain't gonna play Sims daily. Love it, but I ain't gonna play daily. Don't mind me. I'm trying to make sure y'all don't have to listen to me crunch <laughs> on, like, my food. I'm, like, trying to help y'all out a little bit. In that regards. <laughs> Trying to actually make it look like there's dirt. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you shared pics of them in Discord? Where where did I put my oh underneath my thingy? Let me see. Let me see. I like that hair a lot. I do. Anyways, I was just wanting to stop by and say hi, and then I hope you're doing well. I can't wait to see you around some more, hopefully. No problem, Aiden. Thanks so much for just popping in and whatnot. I hope that things get better for you. And I'll definitely see you around, because, you know, I'll see you in Happy's chat more than likely at some point. Um, but I hope you have a good night, okay? No, they look good. I like them, at least. <laughs> bring on the crunch <laughs> you don't have to play daily with the scenarios and for the ones that is limited time only you can just create a save with that meets those requirements and you'll still have access to it after it's technically over so like what exactly do the scenarios do aside from give like do they give you any like what does it do i have no clue how the scenario thing works i just noticed that there were scenarios today to be honest also welcome back true how are you doing? So I kind of want to try. I want to make like a windy path. If that makes sense. Like I kind of want it to be like a nice like, thing like that. Like that's the vibe. That's what I'm going for. That's that's the the vibe I want. Truly. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I just I just realized what I've done to myself. I'm going to end up doing the same thing I did for Naima's place, aren't I? I'm going to sit here for 30 minutes doing rocks <laughs> I just realized what I've set up what I've done did they don't like it but I'm going to still do it <laughs> because obviously I don't love myself <laughs> okay let's get into it <laughs> I think we're gonna do white rocks this time around though I don't think we're gonna do the black ones. The black ones, I feel like, were really for Naima. They fit her vibe a lot. But I think we might do the regular white ones. Hold on. Let's see. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, the setting is that you are a major of a new town. And... It is your job to improve your town rating in such a way the animals were interactive more. You would have play dates. You would have play dates? So they would come over to your house or theirs. They had relationships with you. So if a certain animal had a crush on you, another animal would get jealous. I had beef with Butch over Rosie because Rosie liked me a lot. We would write a lot of letters to each other. Oh, that's actually adorable. Like, I feel like like you can see where they're, like, trying, I guess, to get back to that, maybe. Because now, like, the, you're, like the, the villagers can just randomly pop up on you now. Like, they can come into your home or they can, like, ask you to come visit them now. Which is nice. I just wish there was like almost like more of an incentive where there was like more stuff to do to interact with the villagers besides just touching a p item in the house and then them telling you about it or them just complimenting a thing in your house. Like I wish there was more stuff to do if you talk to them. That seems cool. And like I could see where like some of them are my best friends. Like I'm very proud because um oh my goodness how did I just forget his name but my favorite villager. Uh, <laughs> he's a little duck and 
he's the one that absolutely loves working out and he became my best friend and he called me mountain now that's my nickname but i definitely hear you um nancy because yeah i could see where that would be a thing which has no game had to end stream early got to figure out my bit rate issue oh man i hope that you can you can figure that out you could also buy certain items from other animals houses when they invited you over really can i hurry to build my lots in the sims listen my lots ain't that good but i appreciate the the, the compliment c1 <laughs> i truly do oh well, by the way for anybody who doesn't know because i know i did it earlier um y'all can feel free <laughs> to check out c1 and true because they also stream they in here oh man let me just catch back up yeah i wish there was a bit more interactivity and new leaf yeah i mean new horizons yeah i really do as well for the breakup scenario they already come out as exes with their own sentiments towards each other and you can either have them get back together and become soulmates have them be friends again but not romantically involved or have them find other relationships and find their soulmates elsewhere in the breakup scenario they already come out okay as some with each other the millionaire one is more or less just a legacy challenge got you the duck is adorable i love him um dang that last message is always full. yeah i realized <laughs> i realized after um oh Halo and final fantasy 7 have been popular lately yeah well halo definitely i've been seeing so much halo um but those are cool those sound cool i guess those are also cool for like if you don't know yet like or not yet but if you're not completely sure of what you want to do you know that could be cool cool thing all right let's get into it shall we this is this is what i sat here doing the last time <laughs> I built a house and just sat here doing this. So get get comfy, y'all. Get comfy for a minute. That's what we're doing now. In here to make things pretty. That's the hope it is. <laughs> That's what we're we're trying to do. It's the vibe. I think I'll keep the white, at least for now. Sleeping, modding for a portion of the day, and just, oh, okay, cool, yeah. All right. So far, though, I like how this is coming out. Not mad at it. I'm actually very excited to try playing whoever we end up just using. I have no clue the vibe yet of who we're gonna use, but I'm excited for it nonetheless. Like, whatever it ends up, whoever it ends up being, quite excited for it.
When you got a villager in your town's campsite, friends on your 3DS could come over and invite them to stay at their town. You can't do that in Animal Crossing New Horizon. Ordinances is how you can set your town on the way you can, or the way you can live. For example, I have the Bell Boom Ordinance, so every cost twice is twice more. But selling certain items goes triple the rate. I was a billionaire in New Leaf. I was paid. Oh, that's different. I wish that we could actually. Also, thank you, True. I wish that we could, like, go to other friends' places and, like, invite somebody from their campsite to ours. <laughs> Not that I, like, visit people enough to do that. But, like, that would be cool. Yeah, there's rock varieties. There's a few of them. I wish there were more, but, like, I guess this is enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I I just kind of I use a I guess a cheat technically is it really a cheat um but I use the like you know various little tools and whatnot so that I can change up the sizes of the rocks to kind of um, help it look a little different and whatnot add a little variety to the mix, you know, sort of stuff. Oh, I could put it off the thing, off the ledge. Oh, not me getting fancy, a little frisky. got one side pretty good I'm pretty happy about that that side is pretty good so now we just gotta do the other one. Oh, oh, black <laughs> black <laughs> yeah it's true it is a long stream that's why at first I was like oh maybe we'll make the sim and I was like wait no we're not done with the landscape we're not making the sim today we will make the sim the next time we play and then we will be able to test this out. <laughs> That's definitely a mood. I'd probably be on the same boat initially, but try and do a small bit for personal practice originality. Although if my designs were scuffed, I'd jump straight back to inquiring someone else to do it at a cost. <laughs> how is work black? Unless you're still at work and you just had another break. But either way, how's work going? <laughs> Doing these and going out. A bit to see in real life friends I haven't seen in years. That's nice. That's always nice to um, do. To catch up with people. I've actually been catching up with friends as well. Which is why I've been so busy lately. Catching up with friends I haven't seen in a long time. It's always fun. Always nice. Well, not always fun, but it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice to get back. feel this urge to save so we're gonna save <laughs> feel it feel it in my boat so we're gonna we're gonna save me the pain things not working save that Work with busy, busy, glad it's over. I'm happy it's over too for you. How's that been? Not me needing to like blow my nose. There we go. Got it. Never mind. <laughs> we love streaming. Um, it's been fun. <laughs> it's been fun. Um, 
been busy because of it so i'm kind of happy that this weekend i actually do even though it's it's funny though what i'm about to say because i'm about to say hey i'm so happy that i'm not gonna be busy this week and i'm gonna be able to stay home but i'm going to be busy this weekend technically i'm just gonna be busy at my house because it's, it's community game night this weekend and it is um community movie night this weekend so we still i still am going to have things to do but because i'm in the house i'm like finally peace <laughs> peace and quiet <laughs> but that's also a very good reminder for you guys that i will be putting a poll up for tomorrow i will be putting it up on twitter and i will be putting it up on discord i haven't figured out the games yet i'm gonna figure it out tonight but tomorrow the 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 polls will go up on twitter and discord for the games we could possibly play for community game night so definitely be on the lookout for that so you guys can vote and we can figure out what we'll be playing this week and for anybody who's in the discord and would like to participate in movie night um if you guys haven't made suggestions yet for movies in general because you know i'm going i haven't made the list yet but there's going to be just like a random list of all the various movies that we've suggested so if you guys ever have suggestions for movies you can always feel free to put that into the suggestions in the discord um because it'll help us out for the months when we don't really have any idea of what we want to watch we still have things to pull off of so that is also on a sunday at the moment so yeah and for anybody who does not know this stream is presented by ea's creative network because they were kind enough to give me a code for the blooming kit so thank you to them we are able to do this today Feel like I missed things. Um, I probably did. <laughs> this isn't that much of a change, but I miss a special island. Captain would take you, and you can make. Hold on. And you can make bills or collect bugs or fish to fill your museum quicker, which I loved. Oh, that's nice. I guess in their in New Horizon, I guess that's their take on like taking you to random islands that um you could just to get more resources from oh, yeah, the museum feature is one of my favorites uh, i love seeing the bugs and sea life that i've come across i love seeing that too it's really nice i just wish i could find more fossils that i haven't found yet also there was a nightclub there was a nightclub they need to add that in i want to see um <laughs> all of my little my little innocent ones out there dancing or something i don't know what they would do in there <laughs> that's awesome i just finished my plans to see friends in dc and baltimore and philly and and new york city oh that's nice <laughs> so you're gonna be in my neck of the woods soon i'm looking forward to it. another movie night the amount of times i could have been on discord but i stay spending points literally black literally like you could have been been in the discord but you are so gung-ho at making me not be able to see <laughs> just to like guess not this month <laughs> oh man oh uh, it's always appreciated seeing peeps out of their way that's my long rant no pro i appreciated your long rant honestly the rants are always usually appreciated <laughs> turning up at the nightclub dj kk slider would rock the town literally <laughs> i would invite people over too i would have a full reason to invite people over which fun fact kk still has yet to come to my town because that's how much i forget sometimes to come in so like i get this like random obsession with animal crossing and then like i, I become obsessed like how i would with like what stardew valley but you know stardew valley if i get obsessed with it i'm still progressing throughout the game 
like my problem with Animal Crossing is you ain't progressing if you stop playing for three months. So <laughs> even though I might have lots of money, like I didn't come back for three months and now I got roaches and now everybody hates me because I'm gone. Um, <laughs> that's my plight in, in um, Animal Crossing. So KK still has yet to come because my island still looks like trash. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. DJ KK AK47. <laughs> I cannot stand you, Black. I cannot stand you. <laughs> like, thoroughly. You make me sick. <laughs> I want you to be a little bigger, actually. Alright. No, I don't want the same. I think I will use this one. Make you, what if, what if I make you big? So what if I have you here, right? Get rid of you. Put you in here. What if I make you bigger first? No, 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 you don't make you bigger. <laughs> oh, the moments when you kind of don't like the situation you've put it in. I want the one that doesn't have the rock. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Alright. That part's done. But guess what? Guess what? We're not done because we still have to do rocks over here. Fun. Fun things. Okay. We're going to get back. <laughs> this is why I, was, I said we are going to be sitting here for like 30 minutes to an hour just doing rocks. Just working on rocks. That's my life now. That is my life. I've accepted it, but have I truly? No, I have not. But that's what we're doing. So, <laughs> we're going to work on more rocks. <laughs> but, really quick, for anybody who hasn't seen, one, saving really quick first. Um... The circle and KK that. <laughs> Throw in the. Oh no. <laughs> I have Animal Crossing Dual Rises, but I want to make an Egyptian themed island. That would be really pretty. Yeah, that would be popping. Remix those gunshots. <laughs> Tito level is solid. I already got Anka and Lucky and a few items, but I need to buy a new Switch because you can't have two towns on the same Switch. Oh, that sucks. Um, I don't have Anka or anyway. I don't have a lot of like the cool ones. But I have, um, I just got Flora, and I really like Flora a lot. I also just got Penelope, and I want to kick her out. Like, she literally just got in, and she's so ugly to me. And I don't, she, she ruins, she breaks the aesthetic. Like, there's no aesthetic yet in my island, but I just know that she breaks the aesthetic. So I need to get rid of Penelope, um, because she's a mouse, and her color scheme is just, she don't know, she, baby girl don't know what color she want to be. Um, she got blonde hair, she got green fur, she's got pink bow for her ears and like baby what are you doing so um she needs to go and stat but anyway for the people who have yet to see <laughs> how the place looks at the moment this is how it's going i put the little shrubbery in there because the space was really killing me but basically we are making a flower shop so this will be a retail place a retail um place that we can have and inside we have this area which really isn't going to be where you can purchase stuff maybe I'll make it where you can purchase these three but I kind of want to make this whole like indoor part just the part that's like just display things it's just pretty it just looks good um but this is where you'll pay and then this is the staff lounge the staff lounge area is in here you got your little mini fridge and uh, don't mind me I gotta be able to let you see we've got a little the the TV some trash and like you know things on the wall to make it seem like they work there <laughs> they're also the cool place so I couldn't put a beanbag chair so I put an ottoman 
<laughs> to, to do the same vibe of um, what we're doing. We got the ba the bathroom, which is just a basic bathroom. Like I put a pipe in there for decoration. <laughs> like it's just the bathroom. Um, we don't really care about that. But what we do care about is the outdoor area. And I cannot wait to sit here and have to manually set all of these things to be purchasable. But we will do it. Um, but yeah, so this is our little outdoor area for the actual shop. So this is where they'll buy the things that they want to come in and do it. Which is why I put this right next to the door. Um, but yeah. So now we're... Whoa, wrong button. So now we are working on the outdoor part. So it looks pretty. And I think I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to be that person and be extra and probably add a pond in. But first, we are sitting here and putting rocks on everything. Also, Pell Lopez, how are you doing? Welcome in. How have you been? How have you been this weekend? How is your Monday? I hope you're fantastic. <laughs> and if you guys have not checked out Paz, what are y'all doing? Like, like, genuinely, what are you doing? Like, go check out Paz, please. Please. But yeah, so that's our, our shop. Um, because for anyone who doesn't know, we are using the blooming kit because EA was kind enough to send me a code for it. So thank you to them because of the EA Creator Network. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on today. Well, roasting on this poor lady. Listen, she deserves it. But at the same time, this is my karma because I kicked out my last mouse lady. <laughs> I clicked, I kicked out Bettina. Bettina or whatever her name was because when she first initially joined my town I did not like how she looked. I thought she was ugly, but I was like, let me give her a chance I don't know how to kick her out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice. Let me give her a chance and I never liked her and then Very recently she was like, you know what? I just feel like I have this feeling that I should go on the bigger better things What do you think? And I told her yes, go do you go discover the world and she moved out the next day and then Flora moved into her home, but I sold a plot of land, and then Vanilla became it, and my heart sank, and I just, it's been sad, it's been rough, it's been a rough existence, you know, <laughs> it's been real hard, <laughs> but I've been trying to upgrade my, my island and like make it look nice, so that's what, what we've, I've been doing lately, that's what I've been, what I've been dealing with. Oh, and also, thank you for the hydrate as well. <laughs> it's a whole Discord for your Animal Crossing needs. See, I don't think I'll join it because I don't see myself. I feel like I wouldn't look into it. I have so many Discords. I don't think I'm going to actually, like, look at it. Thank you for the love. You know I'm going to give you love. I'm doing pretty good, though. Um, we're just building, <laughs> as always. Um, we're gonna see how far we get. Who knows, maybe I'll leave the pond for tomorrow because we, I haven't gone four and a half hours, so it's just a little bit. We've been going, it's already 10.30, so we're gonna see how I feel. I guess maybe after this set of rocks, we'll see how I feel. Um, if I feel like I could keep going, we'll keep going. If I feel like I need a break, then I'll... I'll call a night and find somebody to raid. You know? Figure it out. Plus, I do low-key need to, like, go back into Animal Crossing. Because, well, no. I did get my my miles for the day. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't get to play as long as I wanted to. That's what it was. So I should technically be fine if I don't play into it. I'll be fine. Look at, look at me obsessed. Obsessed with this game out here acting like it's gonna kill me if I don't go in. Meanwhile, I got obsessed with the Black Desert for, what, a week? And then I missed my login date, and I was like, well, I guess it doesn't make sense to log back in today. And I didn't log back in. I haven't logged back in yet. Um, I will go back in, though, because I want to be able to still go into the Alvia server before I get timed out of it, and I have to go into the regular people and then get killed because I wanted to grind in a spot. So we're gonna avoid that what we're gonna avoid we're not gonna do that 
a good night um the house looks nice no problem drew thanks so much for popping in hanging out with us and whatnot i hope you get a good night's sleep i hope you have a good um rest of your week if i don't see you again um why did i choose this one that was an ugly rock but yeah i hope you have a good night Y'all would have told me I would be sitting here just putting down rocks. I would have probably told you you're lying because I wouldn't do that. I don't have that type of patience. But I always forget that I have that patience when I want to have it. I have that patience for dumb things. <laughs> Other stuff, I'm like, I'm not spending that type of time. And other times I'm over here meticulously like drawing a leaf <laughs> as I place all of these rocks down at different sizes. Because what am I doing with my life? Nothing apparently. Doing nothing better with my life. I wish some of them didn't have the darn random small rock next to it. Like, I don't need that rock. That's not the rock I need at the moment. This look so good. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm definitely an amateur, so. Still pretty new to like building things in this game and whatnot. I'm just a perfectionist. <laughs> That's the only thing saving me. I'm an artiste and a perfectionist. That is a lethal combo. Absolutely terrible for my anxiety. I can go. That sucks. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's see. How's that looking? Like a bunch of rocks. Perfect. <laughs> I hate that I'm really spending all this time, and it really is just gonna look like a bunch of rocks at the end of the day. Like, does it really matter how I put these rocks? Like, why? Why am I? Why am I stressing so much about rocks? Like, it, it, does it? Does it? Does it? Does it matter in the brand scheme? Does not. Does not. <laughs> and yet, each rock must be placed at the precise angle because why shouldn't it be? <laughs> oh man. Kintel Mana would make a cool island on New Horizons. See, you know what's so funny? Is I don't actually think I have the capability to do that in um, Animal Crossing because, like, 
I need to be able to have the same controls that I would have inside of the house. So like, if I was able to do that type of stuff, like maybe my house might look good. My house maybe one day will look good. At the moment, no, it's, it's nothing inside of there. There's there's no house. There's what 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 house is there? But when it comes to my island, because I can't use like those types of controls, or at least I haven't unlocked those controls. If that's unlockable, like a thing, to, like make it almost as easy as like decorating inside of your home. Um, if that's not a thing, it's probably not going to come out very good because I was over there struggling. The other day trying to put <laughs> like uh the log table and log like bench set in a spot and like they wouldn't go in the spots that I wanted it to go into and it just was a mess it just it just was a mess it's still there though because it's as it's good as I can get it but like it was a mess <laughs> it was hard <laughs> And I don't have the, the patience because I have to wait a full day for everything to pop up. Like, that's that's truly my biggest thing with Animal Crossing is I don't like that I have to wait a full, real, real world day for certain things. Like, if I built a bridge, I want to go on the bridge now. I want the bridge built after I paid for it. I don't want to wait tomorrow until tomorrow. Why do I have to wait until tomorrow for this stupid bridge to be built? I don't want to do that. <laughs> And that's where I felt like I floundered. Like that's where I'm not good with um, Animal Crossing because of that. Because I gotta wait. I'm not good with those types of games, which I ranted to everybody about earlier. <laughs> so I will save you guys that that rant again, that dual rant. That's exactly what it would have been though. Another rant of the same thing I've said. And I don't want to subject y'all to that. As the saying goes, progress leads to perfection. I never thought about making the rocks that small when I did those pathways. Yeah, I wouldn't want to make them, like, keep them big. Because I think of it like when you see you know what it is i've watched way too much hgtv in my lifetime so i remember back when there was like the landscaping show <laughs> that used to come on hgtv and i used to really like it i was very sad when they took it off the air i i was what eight or something i don't know i was a teenager i don't remember when it was on the air but like i remember it was on the air and i wasn't old enough to be able to afford to do any of that stuff anyway but i loved it and it was amazing to me the landscaping and ever since then I was like ooh landscaping is precise like those rocks you need to make sure they look good um, so I yeah yeah <laughs> that's how that went down as a kitty Sorry. Okay, that's a little better. That's a little better. I can kind of, I can kind of deal with that. I can, we, can, we can do that. almost done with this part. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We're almost to the promised land. We're almost there.
bam okay oh wait there's a whole other side of <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot there's a whole other side to go. <laughs> I was about to say, we did it. We're done. We're not. <laughs> we are not. But. I don't know about you guys, but I personally think it looks really good. I really like how the rods look. Um, <laughs> that looks really good to me. Yeah, we're landscaping, guys. Like, we're landscaping, landscaping. Oh, yeah, I watched a bit of those shows here and there but way back. <laughs> well, I'm off to video game. No problem, Bell. Uh, not back. No problem, Black. You can tell I've been streaming for four and a half hours. But um, I hope you enjoy your games. I hope you enjoy your decompressed time after work. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good night. I'll see you when I see you. Whether it's in my, my stream or someone else's. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Nodded Soul. No, well, thank you so much for the follow, Nodded Soul. Um, welcome in. If you want to lurk, that's fine. If you feel like chatting, I hope you're doing well. How are you doing? How was your weekend? All that good stuff. Don't mind me. I'm just checking my phone. I've been streaming for four hours, and I realize I have notifications. All right. Doesn't seem like anything too crazy. Check those after. Cool. Oh wait, I still have juice. I've been saving the second one for when I finished my cookies. <laughs> and the cookies are finally done, so I can finally like just drink it like an actual shot. Okay, that the two juice boxes I brought up during my break are now done. All right. Mr. Rock. Actually, no, I don't need that one. That one goes into it. I need this one. I need a rock that doesn't have those things. Oh, wait, I can use this again. No wonder I've been struggling. I'm like, why can't I do this right? Because I don't have the view I've been using all this time. Because then I can go back in and, like, redo the dirt make sure the dirt actually goes up to the rock you know so no problem not it soul do you want me to call you soul do you want me to call you not it um either one you can let me know how are you doing welcome in and thank you so much for the follow also thank you for the follow clover how are you doing as well though if you do want to lurk that is perfectly fine but if you want to chat, feel free to let me know how you're doing. We are just, or I should say I am just building a little flower shop. Though you wouldn't know because I've been making rocks for like an hour. <laughs> we have been placing rocks for an hour. But... <laughs> It is for a flower shop because EA was kind enough to send a code for the blooming kit. So 
this is a presented stream by them but i have been excited for the blooming kit anyway because i love flowers so <laughs> so we're building today i'm an amateur though i'm not a pro builder so though some may try to tell you i am i'm i'm 100 percent not not even close <laughs> not even close See, like, some of the rocks, I need them to look a little bit more different. Like, these two rocks are literally, like, you cannot tell me that these are not the exact rock, same rock. Like, you cannot tell me that these are not, basically, the exact same rock, just shown at a different angle. They are basically the same thing. They're different, but they're basically the exact same rock. And I wish there was another rock that was slightly different type of formation. <laughs> Just a slightly different type of formation. And I'm also very upset that I am becoming so passionate about the shape of rocks at the moment. But I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> please spare me. Please feel bad for me for the fact that I have been organizing rocks for an hour. And I've been streaming for four and a half hours. So, my mind is the IQ of a squirrel. But, <laughs> I am upset <laughs> by the way these rocks look the same right now and it's just bothering me it's bothering me so much <laughs> did my music stop it did how dare it do that? How dare it do that? Because I know it didn't run out of time. So how, how could it do that to me? I just realized. I hope it wasn't going... Like it wasn't playing for a very long time. How dare. How dare. Um, anyways. <laughs> anyway. See, this area is bothering me. This area bothers me. Something needs to be bigger than long size. Yeah, something needs. Something has to give. Like at this point, something something needs to happen. This area, is, it's not doing what it needs to do. as nice as it's gonna get that's fine <laughs> the IQ of a squirrel <laughs> I'm mad you're just catching that I have been calling myself saying I've had that IQ for the longest now <laughs> but it's facts once it reaches a certain amount of hours streamed that's that's as smart as my brain can go <laughs> Favorite colors are green and purple. Nice. I love me some purple, I will say. Though I like a lot of colors. I don't necessarily dislike many colors, though. You're gonna have to be a very specific, very specific color. And usually only, I only get triggered by it when I see it. And then I angrily have to shout from the rooftops that I really dislike that color. <laughs> no, that's the same exact color. Exact same freaking rock. Oh, let me get some water. Mm -hmm. 
not as cool okay cool i like the vibes here just found you on ig dope well thank you i really appreciate that um so welcome in um for anybody who may be new into here i am mono by the way i do games on mondays and fridays but i do stream art on wednesdays so if you are an artist or you are interested in art i do do art on wednesdays so that is 100 percent a thing for anybody who might possibly why do i keep using the same rock over here <laughs> for anybody who might possibly be um interested in that sort of thing Welcome in, not it. Hopefully you enjoy yourself. Oh, one thing I would like to mention, by the way, to anybody who is new here and, you know, maybe enjoying yourself and whatnot, this week, so this Saturday, it's community game night. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, there will, every community game night is set to two week follower mode only. So, if you are new here and you have not been following for two weeks, you won't be able to talk in the chat. You can still, you know, chill out and vibe out or whatever and lurk if you'd like. But, just want to let y'all know that that is a thing because it makes it easier for me to be able to tell who's been following for two weeks. Because I do have a two week cap for who can play with me during community game night. Um, but, just know that next community game night you will 100% be able to play. But I just always like to let everybody know that that um, follower mode only will be on the chat. So that if you do come in on Saturday and you don't understand why you can't talk, um, that is why. It's not because I dislike you. It's just what we do on Community Game Night. And then you'll be able to talk as, as we are now any other day. So just figured I would let you guys know. Because there's, there's always someone who doesn't realize and they're upset. And I'm like, no, it's not. I don't dislike you guys. I like talking to y'all. <laughs> you know? So. <laughs> yeah, super chill. Hermano is so t Well, thank you, Paz. I appreciate it. But yeah, we try, to, we try to keep the chill vibes going over here. Because that's what we try to do. This area. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. This area bothers me. But I'm going to ignore it gonna ignore it we're gonna we're gonna keep going we're not going to pay attention to it <laughs> pretend like it does not exist by the way i'm not gonna lie i hope that shang chi wins for movie night <laughs> like even though i've seen it already i really liked it and i want to watch it again <laughs> so like it's definitely going on the pole I just, I don't know if it will actually win, but I hope it does. <laughs> we will see. We will see what actually ends up happening. Shang-Chi is for movie night, not Neon. Like, we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> I need to vote for that. Yeah, y'all, you need to vote for it. I'm gonna set it up this week. So... The only good thing about movie night is a little bit more calm, I feel like, with the polls because it is just us voting. So, like, at the end of the day, like, even if I do it, like, two days before, it's not that big of a deal, it seems, because it's just us in there. Um, which, by the way, I'm going to try to make sure I definitely stream Critical Role again, if y'all want me to. If you don't, let me know, because I won't. Um, but I need to catch up on Critical Role, so I want to try to watch it this week try to because i'm behind now i'm like behind where i'm like oh i need to fix this <laughs> can i make a small one okay. Okay. so i'm gonna try to catch back up with critical role this week because last week i was pretty bad at watching it was not very good at it bed i'm shabby keep this thing going oh, 
I keep getting the same damn rocks every time. I keep doing that to myself. Don't know. Do not understand why I keep doing it to myself. I wish I could make the rocks just a little smaller at times. Like, if I could just get a smaller rock, that would be really nice. What about if we drew big boy? Big boy in here. Really nice, big. Big rock in here. Let's see, how does that look? Don't hate it. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Debating if I'm gonna do a poll for what DLC I want to play next, or not necessarily next, but like what DLC I would like to play very soon, because there's technically like two different DLC games that I really feel like I want to I want to play, but I'm not sure which one I want to play more. I mean, I think I do know which one I want to play more, but I'm not sure. But um. <laughs> As you know, we I played Greedfall on this channel, and I played Outer Wild on this channel. Both have DLC right now. So I'm trying to debate which one I will play first. More than likely, Outer Wild is going to win. I'm not going to lie. Like, even thinking about it, it might win. But I don't know when I'm going to do it. Um, but, yeah. So I'm trying to decide when, we're gonna, when I'm going to try to play that DLC. Plus, when we're going to play more Death's Door, because even though we finished it supposedly there's another like there's a true ending if like you actually like complete everything as people were telling me so i may try to go back to death store so we can get the true ending to the game so i guess we'll like i guess in a way be like grinding out stuff and trying to find all the hidden things and whatnot so those will probably all happen on mondays since we're doing spirit fair at the moment on fridays so I just gotta figure out what day, like which Mondays we will be doing. I don't know if it's gonna be random, I don't know if I'm gonna plan it out. You know I'm very bad at planning these things out, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I wanted to at least let y'all know that it is something I'm trying to figure out. That Mycidus is going a little weird. I'm also trying to make sure I like stay good because my not my cousin my nephew was a little sick this weekend but he came by the house and my mom tends to always catch a cold after he's been sick and she sees him so like she's sick <laughs> and now I'm like trying to keep myself from being sick because it is about to be Thanksgiving and my mom has already pretty much decided that she's not gonna be able to go to Thanksgiving dinner because she doesn't want to get my grandma sick because my grandma is obviously worried with like COVID and all that stuff so she doesn't want to go over there and scare her but I don't want to have to stay home either so <laughs> I gotta I gotta get myself together and get myself situated and whatnot so that I won't be sick so trying my best to be okay so and then it, it doesn't help that when I, I was out on what Saturday and it was a little chilly I had on a coat. It wasn't like I wasn't dressed appropriately, but it's still pretty chilly in here, so. And I get cold very easily. So. Hopefully, I will be fine. If not, y'all will hear from me. <laughs> y'all will hear about it, as always. Y'all hear about everything. <laughs> Stop that, right? Stop it. St stop it. Nope. Okay, that's as far as we're gonna go. Nobody's gonna go back there anyway. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Oh, it looks good. I'm happy. Oh, I really like how that looks. It looks really nice. Okay, let's go in with the, um, 
the terrain paint and stuff then. Now that we've got that going, we can go in with the dirt and like really make sure the dirt is the right um opacity. Like it really is going up to the edge. But this is the garden area, so it can be in the dirt. Better. What should I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I don't want a very light dirt. Eh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Very light dirt edge on the outsides. I think that looks. I feel like if you have rocks, it's gonna you're gonna have dirt. No. And there's stonework anyway, so like there should be some dirt. Uh -huh. <laughs> Definitely looking forward to those games. Oh yeah, Thanksgiving is a bit worrying with these past two years. Yeah, it is. Same thing with Christmas even. Like all these holidays, a little, a little rough, a little rough. Hmm. Do I attempt? Add a pond. I've never added a pond before, so I literally have no freaking clue what I would be doing. But I think I want to try. Build a height. How would I? Ooh, so like. This pond. Okay, so like, if I want to make a pond, do I just like make the dirt like go down? Like, I just do lower terrain first. Hopefully I don't destroy my, my dirt. Let me save first real quick. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> um, like, is this needed at all? Absolutely not. Um, but I can't help myself. So we're gonna try to do this. Oh, that was too much. We're gonna undo that. Uh, we don't need it so big. I feel like I can't see what anything is. Okay, I see. Like, it was like... Like, I truly feel like I cannot see anything. Alright, so... Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> Much more than I anticipated. <laughs> Which is fine, but like... We're gonna see if this even works. We don't need that to be so... Like, it could be a kind of shallowish pond, you know? <laughs> it doesn't need to be anything... Wild. Alright. So like, if I want to now fill this, oh, I don't know what though they started adding and stuff. Wait, so like, how do I just add in freaking water? Oh, oh, no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, okay. How do I put in water? Oh, 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 we did it. We figured it out. <laughs> figured it out. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, like, if I want to add in <laughs> some rocks and stuff to, like, make it look good. Oh, let me do terrain paints and stuff. 
I want to add in nice muddy muddy water. Like, can I? Or is it just going to be freaking rocks down there? Oh, that's too big. Oh, I can. Great. I think. At least I, I hope that that's what I'm adding right now. I hope I'm adding some freaking dirt in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay so like i think i technically did it but like we're gonna see if like maybe i can just add in some like rocks and it'll look okay if not then we're about to have a city skylines type situation but <laughs> i would like to imagine wait can i wait Wait. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Wait. I don't re like. Is this new or did was this always here? Like I never. Well, maybe I just don't use pools often. So I was like, oh, I don't need this. Um. Wait. This is fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy I put a pond. <laughs> like, did I need it? Absolutely not. But I love it. Absolutely freaking love this. I adore this. I'm so... Y'all can't tell me nothing now. Like, don't even try. Don't even try. It's not needed. I can add ducks. Look, there goes your gator. Um, by the way, we're not gonna add it though because this is not a swamp. But <laughs> there is gator's gator, so. <laughs> Oh man. I can't wait to see how this is going to end up looking in person though. Like I'm I'm genuinely Ew, why would I want to add mosquitoes? They're bugging. Why would I want to add mosquitoes? Y'all are y'all are bugging out. Y'all think I genuinely want mosquitoes in this place. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't understand how excited I am right now. <laughs> I think two of the textures were specifically for ponds. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> um, now it's looking more like a natural pond. I recommend putting the duck and ones with the larger footprints within the pond area because I think they will clip with the ground. Ooh, good to know. 
Oh, I see now. Okay. Cool. So the duck is the only one I think that has like a big thing. You know. But this one should now be in it. Fully, at least. Thank you, Jakara. It kind of is jam. I'm not going to lie. Every time I hear it, I'm like, this this kind of slaps a little bit. Kind of does. Don't hate me, y'all. Please, please don't hate me. <laughs> what we are about to do again. <laughs> My biggest thing is making sure it at least looks like it's going in the freaking dirt. I mean, in the water. It's like, I genuinely don't care if I can't see that, like, it continues in the water and it's flat. As long as it actually touches the freaking surface so it can look nice in pictures, I don't care. Like, because <laughs> these things are gigantic, I think. No, they're not. They're just, like, craters and whatnot. Oh, that actually looks kind of nice inside. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. We're leaving the rock there. I like it. <laughs> I like it, so it's staying. <laughs> Unrelated to Sims, but what are some of your favorite video game soundtracks? Hmm. What are my favorite video game soundtracks? Like, I feel like I love them while I play and then I forget about them. Ooh. I will say, actually, I genuinely love the soundtrack to Outer Wilds. Genuinely, I loved it. Like, absolutely freaking loved that soundtrack. Um. I think it's because of the feeling it gave me. Like, it gave me, like, it was a very specific feeling that that soundtrack gave me. Vampire was also pretty good. I actually did like Vampire a lot. The soundtrack, especially. Like, um, that violin, that violin was hitting when we were in there. Like, it was good. It, that violinist did what they needed to do when they went to work that day. They were making sure they paid rent. Rent was 100% due when they stepped in there to play for Vampire. Oh, it's not necessarily a video game, but a show called- Oh, Arcane! I need to watch it. I really need to watch it. I've been hearing so much about it, and I've been wanting to watch it since I first saw it on um, on Netflix. I just keep forgetting. I need to watch Arcane. I see a gif of one of the characters who was a dark-skinned girl. Not sure who she is, but she looked absolutely ethereal. I feel like I know exactly which one you are, you're talking about, and she's the reason I want to play League of Legends, but I don't do that to myself because I love myself too much. Because I always hear everybody say, please, please don't. Don't do it. It's such a toxic community, so I'm like, I will not. But, I always remember that girl. Because <laughs> she's fantastic. Another game I will say random, which isn't related to, you know, 
arcane because it's not but that's the reason why i really wish paladins would work on my freaking computer because the black girls in that game look fantastic and i would love to have a black girl to play as in a game like that like overwatch who overwatch wishes they could I, well, actually, I lie. Blizzard does not wish that. That's not their culture. Um, because they they rather just still have skimpy little white girls in there anyway. But I digress. Um, <laughs> but I need to get Paladins to work. It won't work on my PC right now. So, like, there, like there's some type of error that happens. And, like, I gotta delete, like, some file, I think. Like, there's, there's some whole thing, and I just haven't had the ener the mental energy to do it yet. Um, but eventually I will, because I would very much like to play um, Paladins, since I'm not playing Overwatch, so I mean, gotta have something else, right? Bro, I sure for that woman without question, and her mama can step on me. <laughs> <laughs> there was an open world detective game that came out last year around the same time as Hades called Paradise Killer. I absolutely loved that soundtrack along with the Hades soundtrack. Nice. Oh yeah, Hades has a crisp soundtrack. Yeah, I've when I've watched people play it, it looks it sounds really good. Thank you for telling me her name. I shall know some for her as well. Oh yeah, totally don't play League, but don't have to know anything to enjoy Arcane, so do watch it really. I will. I've definitely heard that T. I swear she's absolutely amazing and they gave her a range of depth, so she's super intelligent, tactile, funny, etc. I like that they fleshed her character out. That's good. I'm happy they fleshed her character out too then. You know, I, I hate when they don't do that. I think it's coming out pretty good so far. I like the rocks. I think the rocks are coming out fairly decent. No, I've been using rocks for what? An hour and a half. That is, that is wild. Wild. But I'm very excited to see how this looks next time we play. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll even play it next week. We'll see, though. Because maybe I... This depends on if I feel like playing something else. Because I might want a break or, like, to play something. Let's make it where they're not all facing the same direction. Put that back to where it was. I don't know if it matters what direction they're facing, but like, well, I'm gonna move the direction if I can. <laughs> I'd go as far as reading fan fiction, but like y'all said, that community is toxic and I'm really not trying to come across no slave play flit fix like I did when Black Panther. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh lord. <laughs> oh no, that's no good. If they were making that exactly. Fan fiction is cool in itself when it's not sus, though. I feel like that's the thing, though. I feel like, and it sucks, but I feel like whenever we're, whenever it's like with black people, you always gotta run the the risk of fan fiction just being race play, like the whole time, and that ain't fun. Like, why, 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 why? Who, who? Well, I mean, I know who, but like, who thinks that's cool? <laughs> Y'all need help. That's what y'all need. Y'all need some dedicated help. Y'all need therapy. That's what it is.
But uh, yeah, I love what they were doing with Arcane after watching Leagues two hour cinematic. I was hard set on seeing what they were gonna do for the show. I'm happy that it came out good. I it looks amazing. I've been hearing everybody talk about it, so it's definitely on my list. It's definitely on my list of um things to watch. One hundred percent is Okay, I don't actually think I need you as big. Welcome back in, by the way, Sin. Um, yeah, they always be doing something weird. I swear, literally. Listen, the white people saw Bucky for 23 seconds and all bets were all like, bro, get out of here. This is a black people only event. Literally. <laughs> Yo, I'm mad because I, I feel that so much. It wasn't even just Bucky. It was Bucky and um, what's his name? Who was the like agent or whatever who had to come in there? Like, y'all, they just had to find somebody else to try to stand besides the black people. I was like, all of these black people in here, and y'all can't stand one of them? Like, y'all can't just be, like, hip hip hooray for one of these people? Y'all gotta go for Bucky. Like, Bucky fans are so die hard. And yes, I am biased, because for a long time, I couldn't stand Bucky. I don't mind him as much now because of Cap um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but... Joe Biden, aka um, Steve Rogers, can go enjoy his Jim Crow era life because obviously that's how he was feeling. Because <laughs> if you was in modern times and suddenly you're like, you know what? I really miss having those separate fire, like those separate water fountains. That was a nice time. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Like that is what I think. When I see when I saw you went back, like you've been over here for Lord knows how long. This is this is this is what you decide to go back to. You decide to go back to that. I bet. <laughs> you you can have it. You can have it. Enjoy. I need to get you to go back down. It's like why in the freaking world are you? down at the right level. Wrong thing. My bad. Like, come on. Okay, fine. I guess I can't put you there. Alright. At least the other ones are on the right level. That's what matters. Yeah. You guys are on the right level. Okay, I wonder if I can't put the ducks down because it won't go down on the level of the actual, like, stuff. So I wonder. I wonder if it can actually go down there. It's like, the other ones are flat, but not the duck one. Let me see if there's any other ones that's, like, flat enough. These are all big. Suck, because they wanted to be uh, the ducks in here. That's fine. Can I put fish in here instead? I just want something else in here, you know? Or I'll just keep it as tadpoles. You know, it would be nice if tadpoles actually grew up to become, like, frogs. I don't know if that's actually a thing in here. Like, if they actually can grow up to become frogs. But, like, it would be nice if they did. Also, the website. Hold on. Yeah, also, the website you get from. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do? Matters because the Tumblr fix where it just gets the ones on AO3 very sus, especially as that site is sus to begin with. I've never been on that site. I've heard so much about it, and I've never been on it. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Was. I got so confused for a second. 
<laughs> See, no one even cared for the agent is the funny part. All the fix were about T'Challa, M'Baku, and Najaka. There was no Wakabi fix, so funnily enough, because I think we all just collectively decided he was a bitch even though the actor who played it was fine. Listen, I don't even remember who that was. All that matters is M'Baku. That's a fact. That's that this point blank period. All that the, all that mattered was in Baku. And that that is my stance. Right there. That's it. <laughs> Literally, Jakar. <laughs> Literally. Like, and it's so funny because that's literally all anybody cared about. <laughs> he wasn't even supposed to be that important, and that was just that was it. That was it. <laughs> he was. Please don't let Captain America be problematic. Listen, but he was though. <laughs> but he was though. I mean, I understand it though like i understand his his um his arc and his 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 growth and all that stuff but but he could he could have he could have stayed he didn't need to be defrosted he, he probably woke up and saw nick fury and was like why is this negro talking to me <laughs> This, not even this Negro, this, this colored man. I didn't know he was allowed in this part of the hospital. Like, and he's talking to me as if I'm almost inferior, like he's the captain. Like, what is this? Baku Loki kept the momentum going in Black Panther. He did! He did. And Baku was fantastic. Listen. We stand on Baku in this house, alright? We, we stand in Baku. We love him. We do. We do. We do. Can I get another one in here? Like go underneath the water for me, or if you like not going to go underneath the water for me, that's cool. If you don't want to go under the water, that's fine. That's okay, I suppose. Or whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> decide well since I decided to um, make this one a little make it where there was like bigger rocks in here we were able to get this one done a bit quicker or was it actually quicker really helps. I need Michael B. Jordan to be in a Jordan Peele film so the trifecta can be complete sadly we'll never get Chadwick in one may he rest in peace yeah I miss Chadwick but this isn't a this isn't a Chadwick hot take Chadwick was fantastic but 
do we really need Michael B. Jordan in another, you know, Jordan Peele film? When he plays the same person in every movie. I mean, <laughs> he's fine and all. But does he have the range? <laughs> Truly. <laughs> like, let's, let's also be honest with ourselves as well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he was good in um, Killmonger, like as Killmonger. But like, was he was he really that different from his other movies? Is he really playing a different character? Probably not. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe he should stay in his lane a little bit. Just a little bit. He's pretty though. Gorgeous, handsome. <laughs> it's like, it's like, um, <laughs> Aretha Franklin. When wh who was it that they were asking her about? I think it was about Taylor Swift, and they was like, "Beautiful gowns, honey. Beautiful gowns. <laughs> that's it. It's all just beautiful gowns. That's that's how I feel sometimes about um, about Michael. <laughs> beautiful." Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but he can die like he usually does in his films. <laughs> Shikara. <laughs> I mean, he could at it, though. He could at it. So, I mean, we can just let him keep doing what he what he excels at. Because he is good at it. <laughs> I haven't seen any mo movie since Us. That movie had me legit scared. Us was scary, though. It was. Um, Because I watched Us. And, like, sometimes that's when... It's more like psychological. So it's like one of those where like when I think back to it, I'm like, yo, that really was wild. Like the, especially that plot twist. Like I won't say it in case there's somebody who hasn't seen it yet, but like that plot twist at the end had me shook. <laughs> like that ending part, y'all know exactly what part because what other plot twist was it? Um, that was just wild to me. Really, I think I watched that movie about a dozen times because it was so good. It was good, though, but I also don't watch many scary movies either. So I watched it like once and I was good. Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I watched it three times and I loved it. But the way that Jordan Peele did a horror film set a different tone of fear in me than other ones. Only way I can, dis I can explain it is, like, from, sof from software games, like Dark Souls giving me a different perspective on difficult games with intense bosses. Maybe it's also because it was, like from the perspective of a black person too because like you don't get to see that many horror films from that type of perspective either so like being able to have those types of nuances of whatever could be happening could also have played a factor in why it feels that way just like that's how I, why i feel like for like um what was the other one that he did um get out that's why i feel like for black people get out was such a scary movie but like for other people it was just like oh wow this is wild but like there's so many nuances to all that stuff because of who made it you know Listen, somebody has to be the first black person to die in this film. <laughs> Did it survive to get out? The whole family survived us, more, more or less. <laughs> I need to see Jordan Peele's other movies. Apparently, he made more recently in the years. I haven't seen Candyman, even though we have to also remember that Candyman was not technically by Jordan Peele. It was by... What was what's her name? It was by a, a, a black woman director, but he helped produce it. I think um, Jordan Peele helped produce it, but 
Candyman is not technically by um, Jordan Peele. It is by I'm gonna look up the direct Nia DaCosta. So we have to we gotta remember it, it was by a black woman. It wasn't by Jordan Peele because a lot of people did forget. And just because Jordan Peele's name was on it, they were like, oh, it's Jordan Peele. And they forgot that it it was not technically by him. So, gotta rap my black women, you know? I know what you mean. He really tapped into that sense of true heart, terror, and dread for the main character. Can't wait for Na with Kiki Palmer. Hope she's gonna be a final girl. I don't even know what that is, but I also don't watch many horror movies so I don't like stay on top of it that much will admit will admit oopsie I'm gonna put you right back alright there's a random rock in there but that's whatever fine we will deal with that I just wanted to put a nice little rocky rock in here. There we go. Because I don't really mind too much if it clips into the grass. It's not a big deal to me. Ooh, I feel hiccups coming. I know there was an OG one. I said my finished as a kid. Who's was too scared to finish. Yeah, the original Candyman. I heard that they also kept the original actress from um, the original movie and the new one. They let her come back for a, a role. Which was cool. that i'm so fancy we're so fancy over here we're also going to because i don't like necessarily always the dirt like i wish that the dirt in this area was a little greener i'm gonna attempt to make it just a little greener i'm gonna see if i can do it right like if i can make it look pretty i might not be able to yeah, we don't need emerald forever. We just want, you know, a little bit of greenery, like a little bit of prettiness or whatever. We can always go back in and, like, you know, just add a little something. But look, a little green. I know it can't be too too green because the outside dirt is there and like as I've learned in YouTube University while I watch other simmers do their stuff like you still want the the edges to blend in with the other parts of the the lot that's surrounding it so that it, it looks right stuff to be in there. Like, we're gonna do a little eraser over in here. Just a little one. There we go. I think that works. Even do a little, little something, something, a little slight. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I personally think we did it. Um, personally, I think that's what happened. Um, still need to see both Candyman's. Kind of want to watch it with my nephew who claims he's not scared of nothing but knows good. And well, he's terrified of the dark. <laughs> it may not be true. That's just what I've seen. The story, however, was true. It happened decades ago. Wait, did I miss something? Apparently, Candyman was based on this lady who had got murdered because her bathroom mirror was connected to another apartment. And they broke in her apartment from there and escaped from there as well. Wow. She knew what she was doing because that was one of the scariest concepts I've ever seen. Uh, technical Candyman and Lovecraft Country were produced by him, but they were... But they were made by other people. His other films are Get Out, Us, and Nah, Not Yet. Got you. I feel like there's a lot of scary movies that are based on true stories, but they just put, like, the fantasy-type elements in there to make it scary. Which is how I think regular folklore also gets made anyway, you know? Spring as your turf. <laughs> the landscape looks amazing. Thank you. But yeah, and I feel like um I saw a post on Twitter and it but it really made me rethink stuff because I was like, wait, this really seems like this is how it is. And they were like, listen, like more than likely all of these weird monsters and stuff that all the people in caveman time thinks think that they saw was just that they needed glasses and they didn't know what it was. It was dark. And I was sitting back like, well, if I was in the dark in the woods without these things here, I probably would think that I saw the Loch Ness Monster too. I would also think that I saw a weird hairy looking thing and it was just a bear standing up on his hind legs next to a tree and it just looked weird. <laughs> like I too would think I saw monsters, but I didn't have my glasses on and it was dark. I too would think that. And that's probably what a lot of stuff is. Probably some stuff is true, but probably a lot of stuff is just nobody could see. And nobody had glasses. Nobody knew what was happening. Alright. Oh, wait. Let me not accidentally destroy my stuff. Alright. I'm just going to go back over this stuff since it kind of got slightly sprayed on top of because of when... Yeah, this is the right one. Because of when I did my the other dirt so we're just going on here and fixing it a little bit you know and then we're gonna do our final save I'll do my last announcements and then we will go raid somebody because it is 1150 it is late and the majority of this time was spent doing rocks <laughs> majority of the time is with rocks <laughs> love to see it the remake of it was good it chapter 2 was meh I feel like that's how it always is when they decide to do like um, sequels and stuff of certain movies like certain movies honestly just need to be one movie like you don't need to make every single good movie that does well into a sequel they don't always need to be continued a lot of stuff they're just they're fine the way they are like it does it doesn't need to be changed does not like why but real quick I'm gonna give another a little tour of the place so that y'all can see it in its beauty listen y'all just lucky I don't got like anything to truly do tomorrow but this is the home well not the home but the shop imagine being able to go to like a, a little ooh I know something that I could do well I could always add that in that stuff, but I want to add some like potted plants and whatnot to the balcony but that's not a big deal I can add like plants and like seeds and whatnot in there later but, um, this is the place. 
I'm very excited about it. I very, very much want to play it. Um, oh, wait. Oh, my God. If I ever saw a bear sitting in his hind legs in a while, I think I'd just have a heart attack and die. Bears are so cute, but they are absolutely terrifying. I can't outrun them. I can't outclimb them. I can't outfight them. My only option is death. <laughs> Literally, though. <laughs> it's not that late. I need to go back to the future. Listen, Shin. That's only because we are both vampires, so... And I don't want to stay up forever. I want to, like, maybe play a little Animal Crossing and, like, go to sleep. Hopefully. I'm going to sit there post it up, like, why you acted a fool in these woods? Literally, I would just sit there, like, maybe if I stay still, they won't bother me. I just, I just will stay like this and pretend. But anyway, so this is our place. You can't see because I have it covered, but my, the lot is valued right now at 46000 um, and seventy dollars. Um, so that's what it, we're, it's at. We're on a twenty by twenty lot, and it's retail. But we don't have any lot traits up yet. Um, I guess I could. I could do lot traits next time, though. Not that big a deal. So, oh, we also need to add in like a uh, trash trash so that that can be taken out eventually. But anyway, this is our outside. We'll probably add in maybe some hanging plants out here maybe some seats maybe some benches something like that so that maybe people can sit and chill or the workers can come out here and sit and chill on their break if they would like to i may actually add in a ceiling fan at some point too but inside looks like so and uh, i have this whole thing set up like this. Let me see. Can I still do the stuff while I'm in here? Because I know usually I can't. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, this is inside. We're going to probably... Oh, I need to move that over. Let me do that now. And I need to make it go down one, too, as well. Because I believe... It's, is it floating? Yeah. Yeah, it's floating. I hate when that happens and like I can't tell if something is like actually on the thing or not. The absolute freaking worst. Okay. I'm gonna make you go down. Because does it just disappear when it goes down? It does a bit. But you know what? You know what? I don't give a shit. So that's going to stay like so. Because I said so. Anyway, back to the tour. <laughs> um, <laughs> back to the tour. Um, anyway, let's go down a little bit. This is the inside <laughs> of the place. I am not like mystical. If you ever see me in fighting, fighting in the forest, the grizzly bear, don't help the bear, help me. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I didn't add any lights in here. That's something I need to add in. I'll add it in next time. Um, but yeah, so this is the inside. This is where you'd pay. Um, I think this is just going to be all display stuff only. So there's going to be nothing for sale in here. Don't mind the thing disappearing. We're just going to pretend that she's, she's shy. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> oh, and then you, you have all the, the plants behind the desk because why not? Um, and I'm pretending like this is like an article because they're an amazing plant shop. <laughs> this is the workers break room. This is where they can get their files that they need. They probably have like chores dirt up there. They got their little TV, their trash bin, their, their couch, their uh, mini fridge, and like all the other stuff. Calendar, things to write on, blah, 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 stuff like that. Little sitting area. Things, you know, things you need. Then in here is the most interesting spot, the toilet. Beautiful, fantastic, exquisite, a masterpiece, we know. Anyway now to go outside <laughs> and uh, this is where all of the items will be for purchase so next time we play and we like actually set it up or i should say i actually set it up we will be making it where you can buy each of these things so where it's gonna take me a while but we're gonna set it but yeah so these are all the things that's gonna be purchasable in the shop and i'm very excited about it because i'd love to see how this would actually work and if I could keep this store afloat with these various items because there is a lot of items here I'd also have to do a good cheat in order for her to even afford this retail spot because it is a lot of money um, 
but it, I really like it. I think it's quite pretty. Um, we're gonna hop the fence real quick, or I should say phase through it, so you can see the pond that I spent a lot of time doing, so you guys are going to look at it. Going to enjoy it. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is this is the place. This is where we are. This is what we've done. Everything is pretty much set up. There's just a few little things that we need to add in, but that's not too big of a deal. We can add that in next time, and we should still have enough time to make our sim, get her into a regular random home, buy her retail spot, and start playing with her. So, we're going to add lights next time, because we also need lights in here. Ooh. No, don't do it. No, I want to see first. <laughs> not me lying to myself. Um, I want to see if I could put like the festive lights in here. We can. Okay, cool. So we're going to add in lights next time. We'll add in maybe torches and, you know, the little fairy lights and all that good stuff. We're going to add lights and we're going to add lights all over because we don't have lights outside. We don't have lights inside. Only place that has lights right now is the break room. Bathroom don't even got lights. They're going to be pooping in the dark. <laughs> so we'll add all of the lights in next time we play. Will it be next week? I don't know. But next time we play, I will be adding that in. So, let me do a save before I forget. <laughs> I'm going to swap screens real quick so that we can do all of those ending things. Because thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for the follow, Ruby and Nodded and Clover and everybody else who came in and just hung out with me today. Um, for the bits from True, we, the small announcements I do have is it is the last week of November. So Saturday is community game night. I will be posting the poll on Twitter and in Discord. So definitely keep an eye out for that, for which games we will be playing. By the way, for anybody who would like to know about the Discord, you can join the Discord either by being a sub. So if you're a sub and you have your Discord connected to your Twitch, then all you have to do is go to your settings, then go to connections, and then you should find my Twitch, my um, server, and then you'll be able to join. If you are a follower, once you reach 6,000 mono tokens, you will be able to request it as a reward, and then I'll be able to whisper it to you because we mainly do that to kind of weed out trolls and make sure it's still a safe community and all that good stuff. So that's how you join the Discord. Other thing that is coming up, which is part of the Discord, is for the Discord members who want to be part of like movie night, if you haven't already done it, do feel free to definitely check out the roles. Add the movie buff role to your, you know, plethora of roles. <laughs> and then you will be able to be alerted for the poll because Sunday is community movie night. So I will be pulling together a little poll of different various movies that we could possibly watch. And um, you can feel free to vote for that and that will happen on Sunday. Um, also, just so everybody knows, this stream was presented by EA Creator Network because I was kind enough to be, gift, to be given the code for the blooming kit, so that is why we have this. But next time we play, we won't have to do all of this stuff. Um, is there anything else for me to update you guys on? Oh, if you for some reason like my content or enjoy hearing about me, um, you can feel free to check out my links. My Twitter is in there, which I update all the time for Twitch and other random shenanigans. I have Instagram, my Patreon, which I update, um, my coffee, all the stuff is in there pretty much. Um, and I believe that should be it. Oh, and I'm going to try to open up my gate soon for Animal Crossing. I'm going to repurchase Nintendo online. So if you're in the Discord, be mindful of that. If you have Animal Crossing, I will probably be inviting you guys over at some point. Um, I'm going to try to do like games and whatnot, you know games <laughs> but anyway let's see who should we raid tonight there's actually there's a few people on so let's see who's actually like still going because i know we've been going for almost six hours oh my goodness so i need to see who's not going to end in two seconds <laughs> oh and by the way for anybody who doesn't know because i just realized i didn't do it um i do have an art shop if so if you would like to support a small black business, you can feel free to check that out. I also do have my commissions open as well. So if you would like 
digital art or traditional art or emotes or anything like that for Christmas. I know that Twitch has now given streamers more emote slots and whatnot. So if you would like something like that, feel free to check out my website because I do have my commissions open for all that stuff. So that is something you guys can check out. Have my the ads finished? Do they have? Okay. Let's see. Oh, T is playing unsighted. Oh, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be spoiled. So like, I may, we'll see. I might go in and write T and like read and run. Because T is playing um, Unsighted. And I do want to play that game. That is on my list. That's 100% on my list of games that we're going to play. Um, who else is on? Ads, you're killing me. Oh, okay, they're watching. Oh, they're watching 90 Day Fiance. Uh, <laughs> Alright, and then we're gonna go Ray T. Because how long have they been going? They've been going for three hours. That's not too bad. Um, compared to Jedi, who's been going for like five or six. So they may be ending in a minute. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna set, I'm gonna set up the raid for you guys. We're gonna go over and see T, who's fantastic, lovely streamer. You guys should all check her out, which you guys will get to in a moment. Um, and as always, I will be back. Co oh wait, not me, not me spelling the name wrong. There we go. Now they start to do it. Okay, cool. So feel free to copy the raid message. I will probably raid and run because I genuinely do want to play Unsighted. It. Um, it's a fantastic game with a very diverse cast of characters. It's um, pixel art and all that stuff. I played the demo, fell in love with it. I will be playing it at some point. I still plan to play Unsighted and Sable, so those are two games that I want to play. I'm kind of waiting for Sable to be updated a little bit more because I did hear there was a lot of bugs, so I'm kind of waiting to see if they, they fix them first before I play Sable. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go show T some love. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It was a blast today. I'm really happy with what we've gotten done. Um, Wednesday, we will be back with art as usual. Um, probably do digital art because, yeah, more than likely. Because um, this bad boy is almost done. I just have to do more stuff. She's not finished, but she's almost done. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to say goodnight. And I hope you guys have a lovely night as well. And I'll see you when I see you. And take care of yourselves. So yeah, peace.